Welcome to Zero Page Homebrew, your best source for the newest Atari games. And tonight we have an exclusive world premiere. Yes, we do. For the Atari 8 bit yes, system. We do. Uh, let's put this up over here. And we're also going to be playing an updated version of my game. Yay! So we're going to be playing, actually, they're both related. They are both based off of the Pico 8 Pack Line game, mm -hmm. which is based off of the game Paku oh. Paku. Apparently Erlen's here today. Oh, uh, hi Erlen. Did somebody out <laughs> no. him? No. Oh, you're there. <laughs> <laughs> Thought he was in the chat. He may be in the chat. You never know. <laughs> yeah, let's, uh, yeah, she's named Erlen now, so. Let's there we that. go. Yay! Yay! That's better. At least it's yeah. easy to change. <laughs> yeah, you shaved your beard off. I know. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you look very different. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, yes, we are going to be playing three games by yes. Vitoko. Yay! Including Pack Ten Liner. Nice. Which is Pack Line. Pack Line. Yep. Or Paku Paku. 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 Yep. Uh, exclusive world premiere. And uh, Chase Me. And okay. also The Children, which we have both played before, okay. but in a big compilation. So we couldn't dedicate a lot of time oh, to them. Oh, nice. And these are really great games. You will love The Children. Mm -hmm. um, you might recognize it. Last time we played it was quite a while ago. Oh, somebody saw the earrings. Yes. There we go. The Toko saw it. I always, have, I always have a debate about the earrings. Yes. Whether Pac-Man should be facing oh. the, red, the Red Ghost or not. Because... Technically, in game, he would be running away from the red ghost. But the red ghost is not chasing him that in that direction. If yeah. you turn it around, does oh. the, the eyes? No. See, they're so, always facing the opposite direction. Yeah. So I kind of, I kind of feel like aesthetically, the mouth <laughs> should face the ghost, even though this ghost would, he he's running in, he's running towards certain death. There, but, maybe you're the power pellet. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> and he'll reach the power pellet before the ghost. Yeah, which go. almost makes me want a ghost earring that is actually the ghost. You get the blue the, one. The, the, the blue ghost, yeah. Yeah, I don't. I can't so, remember what they had, but some, you can find someday one. I'll find a, a blue ghost earring, and uh, then I'll just swap them up. But yeah. Yeah, you can change them up. You can get yeah. this full set of four Pac-Man. These are the things I think about. <laughs> it's very serious. It's very things. serious. Uh, I want to thank, before we get to the games, I want to thank the Twitch subscribers, including 8-Bit Poet, Alnit for Android, Atari, Atari 800, XL Rules, Atari Ninja 74, Atari Age, Blips Week, Peak, R, Pocock, Bruno Stex, Captain Classic, Charles Bonnie, Mao, Charles Whelan, Chitlow, Asir Naribu, Dino, Identity C, Daryl 97, Jarex, Dr. Moo, Cows, Gamma Dev, Gisberto, Rondinella, Great Defender, Ground Trooper, Araldo Raju, J G K S P S X Johnny W C Computer Coder Carl G Karakak Veltifer Lambda Express Mandy Sipping T Mark Yannis Mark Space Inc Mike Muse Mike Lasso Mike Soul Mike Latow MK Smith Mr Fox Nathan Nathan Strum Neo Media Nostalgic Pseudo Graphics Coog Render Ghost Repentless VG Retro Gamer Revan Tilly Ricardo Pim Six Sweet Smitty B Spice Wear mm -hmm. Spinley S Ramirez Tiki Dan K T Foes Trekham D A Tweeny Vexor X Vintage Game Memories and X Ken X a little nice. stumbly, but I got there. Oh, yeah. And they're all scrolling down the side yes. there as well. And yeah, I want to also... Bottom, thank you very much for subscribing. We appreciate it very yes. much. And so do the cats. And I want to also thank Miss Command, who resubscribed just Yay. before the thank show. You, Miss Command. Uh, if you want to do that, support the show, hit subscribe. It's free with Amazon Prime. <laughs> yeah. Uh, the Children is not a scary game. The Children nope. is... Sounds like it. Uh, it does actually does sound like a horror film, but yes. In reference mm. to the child in Mandalorian, which you are rescuing mm. in the game. Mm. If you remember that mm -hmm. game for the Atari 8 bit, yes. I do, yes. Names per minute has improved uh, probably since the beginning, but there was there was a peak. And I, I did really fast. Some days I'm faster than others, mm. some days I'm not. Um, speaking of world premieres, yeah. this Friday, yeah. we have one. Another really? one. Ooh. It is, and you don't want to miss it, we have the exclusive world premiere of Toon Toon Com, Ooh, uh, okay. a port of the 1982 Konami arcade game from Champ Games Ooh. for the 2600. And we'll also have John Champo live Yay. via video oh, it's good to, to see answer John. your questions yeah. and talk about the game and introduce it. Nice. Very excited about that. I do need to practice that game. It is very hard. Mm -hmm. Very, very hard. Uh, um, we did show a very small glimpse of it a while back. 
Uh, but now he's 90% done nice. with the game. Nice. Yes. <laughs> Your subscription helped feed the kids. Yes. Oh, and oh, thank you, Crypto Coffee. For oh, the thank bits. you, Crypto Coffee. It does keep them. It I'll does have to catch that treats. one later as I possibly have pronounced this Friday and it isn't ZPH related. What? What? It's not priorities. ZPH. Ivory Tower priorities. <laughs> Come on, ITC. You know the show's on Friday. <laughs> Haven't you let your family know? Isn't it in the calendar permanently? Friday at noon. Yeah. Come on. <laughs> uh, once again, be prepared to type, how could the 2600 possibly do this? Oh, mm. yes. Mm -hmm. um, so in the news, we have an add-on coming very soon to the Harmony cart. Mm -hmm. Uh, Batari has posted an update on Friday. He said, since some asked for more info, I thought I would post pictures of the latest prototype. A picture of an assembled board. This one only shows the Pi Pico and 16 megabyte flash chip. The 512K ARM, uh, let me just make it bigger, uh, chip that can play the larger CDF ARM games like Elevator Action and Turbo, which currently don't work on the Harmony Encore. Okay. Because they need this add on because they're pushing the limits. Um, in the upper corner is not populated. I'm guessing it's there mm. on this board. Even without the plastic casing, the HEM can easily plug into a Harmony cart as the board is its own cartridge guide. Mm. Uh, shown is the HEM uh, Harmony Enhance Enhancement Module uh, plus Harmony plugged into a 7800. There it is. So it's something you add on to your existing Harmony card uh, cart. Okay. And it adds more features, oh, more memory, nice. more enhancements to be nice. able to play bigger, Fancier. stronger, faster games. Yeah. Like John Champo keeps pushing the limits of yeah. the 2600. Friday is an early show. Um, six hours yes. earlier than this. And, and it'll be Darcy. Darcy's. Darcy's day. in, yeah. Uh, some changes are being made to this board. I will try to make it shorter. Its height is mostly due to the limitations imposed by its ability to fit into a modified 2600 mm. shell. So there is the updates. And Johnny WC below says, it's looking good, Fred. Thanks for all the hard work. I know people will enjoy getting to play Elevator, Agent, and Turbo Arcade ROMs on a real 2600. Mm -hmm. So that is very exciting. Uh, it says, thanks. There will be at least one more revision to this. Aside from making the board shorter, I wanted to add one more possible configuration. Mm -hmm. This board supports uh, just the Pico or the Pico and ARM, but I also want to make it capable of having just the ARM chip on its own. I need to change some things around to make that possible. So uh, good things are coming to yeah. the 2600 for mm. um, bigger, faster games. Um, so today I was preparing my Atari 8-bit um, computer to 800XL, which has a VBX e-board in it which has been giving me trouble for years now. I don't know, a yeah, long time. Everything you tried. It's like kind of worked and, and then, then it stopped And then sort working. of reverts, yeah. And then I'm like, oh, I found something else that worked. And then it's like, well, it wasn't that because it went bad again. I have found it. I know I've said this before. I have found it this time. I, like I said, the ongoing adventures of the yellow screen of blah, part infinity. <laughs> I found it, really, I found it this time. It's the rainbow colored set of wires connected Ooh, to the right hand side fancy. of the bbx e board <laughs> that wow. that that bend oh really that bend is causing the problem yes uh there's an internal break in one of the wires that is oh. altering the color of the picture the five wires are connected to the j4 on the board and they are ground rgb control g out r out and b out i've isolated these wires and jiggled them at the point where they bend before being connected mm -hmm. to the board and they consistently alter the color okay. of the picture like just easily i just go do 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 so like just touch nothing slight else slight movements slight movements uh, goes nuts uh, okay this completely explains why that when the case is put back on it presses down on those wires and then it starts and it altering the picture alters, and it alters the angle of it and it alters the picture Luckily, this is much easier to fix uh, than resoldering the socket that the VBXE board sits on the motherboard because I thought it was the socket. Mm. I'm like, done everything else. Everything else is fine. It's got to be the socket on the motherboard, but it wasn't. So I'll probably just strip these back just and a little bit, be it past that uh, bend there. Okay. And then I will solder on another connector. And you think that that it'll fit a little bit better that way. Please stop that cat from destroying the couch. Um, well, it'll get... What I'm going to do is have an extended one 
an extended so, one. So it doesn't bend quite so harshly. Okay. So yeah. it has a bit more time to curve. Yeah. Because there is lots of room for it to curve on the right hand side. Gotcha. So you can see it's a bit bigger. It looks there. a little yeah. It just bends 180 degrees all of a sudden. Yeah. And that's just it's just not working. Mm. So I gotta put it like out there and then back in there. Mm. And I think that'll help it a bit. Quite a bit. So I just need to buy, uh, or if I have one, I don't think I have one like, exactly like that. Just buy another connector that has um, five pins on there. Gotcha. And uh, yeah, just solder five wires, which yeah. is very, very easy. And there you go. Quick. Another nice. option would be remove the headers. Solder the wire to the header spots on the VBXE that add the connector further down the wiring. That is true. I don't know if anything else is soldered though. Got those are quick connects. Those are quick connects. Ooh, that one is soldered. I may just solder it. So solder it right to the board instead of having a quick connect? Yeah, because if one is soldered, then what's the point? I might as well solder those too. If they were all quick connects, then I, I guess, could just go and well, I could I, test things. But Yeah, I if, guess it depends on what, what you might have to remove or well, if you'd ever have to re play with stop. that board, I guess. Please but. stop, kids. Um, yeah, if I had to play with the board, I'd just have to just yeah. unsolder five things, which I'd have to have the soldering iron out anyway. Yeah, so, true. true. Um, that's probably a good, but this is a short, short cable and then they'd have to bend as well. Uh, and if you solder the wires from the bottom side of the board versus the top, then there isn't much bending that would happen as the wiring would be lower in the lower. setup. Yeah. So what I'll do is I'll cut it back to there and see what the bend might be, or if I can get it underneath the board. But yeah. I think the cable is like just long enough mm. and it might be difficult. Mm. Um, so either way. You've, you've got it figured out I will out be able to fix that. So yeah. thank you for the suggestion, ITC. I hadn't think, thought about um, soldering it directly. Soldering it, yeah. How many minutes into the show before Atari attempts to pull Bernie oh. down? Place your bets yeah. now. <laughs> Place your bets. They look like standard breadboard jumper wire. Yeah. yeah, it's very standard stuff. So I can buy one quite easily. Nice. Uh, yes. I am so glad you figured that out. Oh, so you have I. been trying for so long to figure out what's going wrong with it. It's because I I fiddle with one thing. Yeah. And then it's fine. Yeah. And I'm like, well, that must have been it. Yeah. It's not doing it That's anymore. That's the worst. And then it comes back. There's nothing like uh, sporadic issues with anything, and you're like, oh, just watch it. It does this. Now it's not doing the thing. And then no one can see the thing. Yeah. And then it waits for the most inopportune time to do the thing you don't want it to do. So, yeah. That's how it works. Of course. Um, I wonder if Bernie is laced with catnip. He might be. No, I don't <laughs> think so. Are you laced with catnip, Bernie? Did Muddy Funster pull Both a trick on us? Both cats are looking at me right now. Yeah. Yeah. This is not for you. No. <laughs> Don't no. do that. No. He's there. They'll be like, it is for us now. That's <laughs> definitely for us. No. Um. So, the first uh, game we're going to be playing tonight is Pack Ten Liner, and obviously, uh, by the name, you can tell this is a port of. Paku Paku, which was ported to Pico Eight, which I ported, mm -hmm. which in turn. Uh, there's a story here. Yeah. Um, development of the game. A ZPH show featured a work in progress game called Pac-Line 2600. Made for the Atari 2600 console, the first game programmed by the host James Earl O'Brien. In a previous talk with him, while the game was a secret, he told that this game could be written by, as a 10-liner. I didn't tell him what the game was, but I was fairly confident with his skills that he could make it into a 10-liner game. That means programmed in 10 lines. Um, and he participates every year in the 10 liner contest, mm. which is passed. And he programs it in Atari 8 bit basic. Okay. Uh, and I said I could try to port it during the show when he had revealed it. <laughs> and he actually was programming it during the show after he found out about the game. Oh, really? He did not know what it was. Oh. So as soon as it showed on the screen, he's like, oh, okay, coding time. I can do time. it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just absolutely amazing. Yeah. Uh, during the show, he explained that this game was a port from Pac-Line, a Pico 8 yeah. game by Sizescape, which is an enhanced port of Paku Paku by P Kenta Cho, a web-based ga game released on January 2024. Port of a port of a port, yes. Yeah, it, it just keeps going down <laughs> deeper and deeper. Uh, I started the development during the show, but the design of the required bitmaps took more time than expected, so I couldn't have a working proto before the end of the show. Anyway, some hours later, I could publish in the forum... 
thread a video of my first prototype. Even though both Pac-Line and James version use a joystick to move Pac-Man, I decided to use a single button approach of Paku Paku. This means that you only have to <laughs> press the button. <laughs> Speak. Press the button to change the direction, yeah. which is how Paku Paku. Yeah, it's because every other port works except for the Pico 8 one. That use left and right joystick, and that's well, what I copy. To me, yeah, and to me, that's why it's more of a um, uh, the Pico Eight version than than the Paku Paku because the Paku yes. Paku is feels almost more like a phone game where it's just back and forth. Yeah, right? one tap, one tap versus it, but it plays really fun on yeah. an arcade yeah. joystick. And that's right? why I named so, it after the Pico Eight one rather than Paku Paku Twenty Six Hundred. Yes, yeah, because I really modeled it after. And if you look at the Paku Paku uh, ports. They look very different than yeah. the Pico 8. Like the ghost is weird looking. So is Pac Man. Yeah. Um, the next day, I made major improvements and had a new playable prototype before publishing it. I wanted to know the effect about that in the context of the 10 liners contest. Bunsen from No Ma'am confirmed me that this won't invalidate it as an entry for next year's contest. So I published a second video uh, for the current prototype. Okay, so I'm going to continue the story mm. after we uh, get it going. Yeah. Um, just want to say Sprite is very excited. He's in a front, he's in the uh, front row seat is he? on the pillow right now, waiting for us to play this game. So, oh, he's excited oh, about that. Are you purring? That. Oh, you're so sweet. So I so have the case kind of half on and I think I've propped it up so it should behave. Okay. So well, far. Let's hope so. It looks white. Ooh, white. So far, it looks very nice and white. Yes. Um, so uh this is mm -hmm. an exclusive world premiere got his eye hi kitty okay mm -hmm. let's load it up we connected yep mm -hmm. so go to today which you're already on down to pack 10 liner. There we go. So he has made other versions. Nice. Yeah. Uh, this one does use the joystick left and right. He initially did. This one does? Yes. Okay. So it's not just a single button. Okay. I'm trying to find a good spot on top of my cat. <laughs> Ooh, I like the eyes. This one's quite, quite fast. <laughs> I got this. It's a speedy version. It's like those... Oh. Um, Speedy Miss Pac-Man's in the arcade, where they've uh, made them made them fast. They've got they've updated the boards, which you like to sped up Miss Pac-Man, right? I love sped up Miss. Ah <laughs> okay, continue on with the story. The following updates were fine-tuning the difficulty increase and sound effects. The game started easy enough to learn the mechanics, but the difficulty slowly increased up to a crazy level where it could not be beaten. But while testing, I found that it was too easy to master the game to reach the crazy level. I wanted to change that by doubling the speed. Instead of to move one pixel at a time, move two. The result was a very fast game, a bit harder to master to reach the top level. A couple of days of tweaking and commenting the code, I could have a working release candidate with sound effects. I sent it to some friends, including James, to beta test and to receive from some feedback. 5,111. Uh, Double Down says the speedy Miss Pac-Man is the cheaty Miss Pac-Man. It is so cheaty and but it's so fun. much fun. Well, that was close. Um, speed hack Miss Pac-Man is love, says Rendered Yeah, Gearist. it is the most fun. It's just so much fun. Oh, I mean, it's not, oh, oh, what was I doing? Wrapped Sorry. Around. Getting a little... Uh... As I recall, the James preferred the joystick approach instead of a single button one. Because when you're like switching back and forth, you don't know where you're going to end up when you're pressing the button, like really rapidly to stay in place. You're like, ah, five buttons, six, seven, eight. You have to kind of count them almost. Uh, I changed this for him and I found that it could I could save one byte of source code by doing this and four more at the variables initialization because control variable to avoid continuous side changes by not releasing the button was not required. Uh -huh. So either way, the game is still a 10 liner. So I decided to include both versions in the distribution disc, but I'm not sure which version will be submitted for the contest. The final t tweaks uh, were a palette for the 
NTSC version and some changes in the bitmap to look better on the faster version. By the way, there are no timers based on the refresh rate of the TV system, so both PAL and NTSC should run at the same speed. Um, so, uh, Vitoko just said in the chat that this will be released at the end of the show, just like my updated version, which we'll be playing after this. This will be released at the end of the show as well. Oh, I beat your old score! Congratulations! Oh my god, he's going so fast! Oh, ah! Six five so one. So oh. fast at that. Point. Can somebody keep track of scores? <laughs> no. Six five one zero for Tanya. Mm. Um, description: Avoid Blinky while clearing the row of dots, but you can catch him after eating the power pill. Press the button to start. Oh, thank you, Vitoko. Uh, you are Pac-Man on the left-hand side. Blinky is on the right one. Both will run against each other. Press the button to turn around and avoid Blinky. Wrap through the sides. Blinky won't follow oh. you through that path. When you eat the power pill, Blinky will be scared for a moment, and you can catch him while he's purple. Purple? I guess he... is he... He is he's purple. purple. Yeah, he's purple on this. I was... My money's blue. I like the blue color. I, I don't know. I have to look at the arcade game again. Are they a, a slight shade of purple? Or are they blue blue? They're blue. They're, I think they're yeah. blue. But I, I, I kind of like the purple. And I looked at all the Pac-Mans and like everything's a little different. Like every each, every each version game. you mean? Yeah, yeah. like Ms. Pac-Man, the walls of the maze are a different color than in Pac-Man. But I'll get to that in my game. Because I have to talk about some colors, color things. Um, <sighs> scoring at level one, each dot gives you one point. Power pill gives you four and the purple ghost gives 20. These points are doubled at level 2, tripled at level 3, and so on. Each time you eat the dots of a row, the difficulty level will increase a bit, and the time for a purple ghost will be shorter, and the speed of Blinky will increase. Ah! Uh, there's only oh, one life. Oh my gosh, that's so short. Oh, five Just not... dodge. Just dodge at that point. There's only one life. The game is over when Blinky captures you. Press the button to try again. All right. Let's see if I can beat 6510. Yeah. Vodoka says there was too much blue on the screen. Yeah, if you have the blue in the in the lines, oh, I get yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yep. Saves, I like the purple. Saves me a variable on mine. <laughs> <laughs> not that it. It's not even a variable, mm. so it's not it doesn't save me anything. It's a constant. So fast. I do like the speed. Yeah. Yeah, fun. it's fun. Yeah, um, yours starts certainly a little slower, which it feel, makes it feel different. Yeah. Yeah. It does feel like a sped up Miss, Miss Packer. <laughs> it does. Which is so much fun. Gotta be careful <laughs> when you're falling the eyeballs. Yep. Oh, damn it. oh so oh, fast. Oh, you're doing really well now. <gasps> it's so short. Uh, you died right around the same place I did. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yeah. I think that it just gets just short enough that it's like... Mm. Oh, you gotta be... You have to stop caring about the ghost at a certain you, point. You do. Same in my it's game. A, it's about it's survival. Like, stop looking at the ghost. Yeah. You're gonna be in trouble. Oh. But the points... You get the big points From by eating, eating the, ghost. the ghost. Yeah. So I always try and, and save the ghost for each time. just an understandable simple concept that everyone can play and a satisfying game generally oh, yeah. yeah oh my god now it's two yeah can you get it yeah there you yeah go. i can get it when it's close almost like, like that. doubles up yeah oh Ooh, now he's so fast, fast. Oh. what i turned around oh 85 28 Five good 28 you can make 10,000. You can write that one down. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 85, 28. Nice. One more try. Oh, damn it. I just want to die. Oh, <laughs> rage reset. Actually, actually, the points aren't worth very much in the low levels for the ghost, so, so it wouldn't have mattered too much, but every point counts. So how we have had beautiful weather. Oh god. Over gorgeous. the last little while. We had we had a lot of rain yesterday, but other than that it's been beautiful and sunny. 
So I hope everyone is sort of slowly getting to spring. Well, I suppose not if you're in the Southern Hemisphere, yeah. you're going the opposite direction. But, um... Yeah, it's been kind of nice. I, I know uh, it didn't quite work out for the eclipse for a lot of people, but... Um, yeah, how many people uh, saw the eclipse? Were there a lot of people who actually were able to see something, or... Well, it, was, it was covered a lot of the U.S. I mean... So, I think a lot of people in the U.S. were able to were see Were able it, to see it, yeah. If it wasn't cloudy. <laughs> My goodness, you can't even make it. Oh! Can you stop that cat from destroying furniture? Stop doing it! Oh, oh my god! Damn. Full eclipse here. It was pretty amazing, says Carl G. Awesome. Nice. Oh, nostalgic saw it too. Nostalgic saw it. 99%. Pretty close. Partial eclipse with Miss Command. Nice. Yeah, we didn't get it at all in Vancouver because we were at marked down as 0 to 10% uh, eclipse, <laughs> which. And it was completely cloudy and completely rainy, so even if we did, we would just, it would get kind of a little tiny bit dark. Like, ah, uh, almost nothing. So it would have been pointless to even look at it. But we got one, apparently in 2017, somebody put in the chat. Mm. Um, I, I thought it was 2018. Around, but, I, I knew yeah. it was around that time. I wasn't sure. I have to look up the exact dates. It was but really cool. It was really cool. It was the just Choco a partial. But said, I have friends in Mexico once streamed his <gasps> telescope oh, view. Nice. Yeah, like, Mexico got a good view. Did That's they? That's where it started. Oh, yeah. In um, northwest Mexico? Mm. I think it was northwest. Very north Mexico, anyway. Yeah. Yeah, I think some of my relatives out east got reasonable yeah. views. Yeah, like they, they weren't would've. quite in the path of, a, of totality, but they were pretty close. Um, I think technically you could have seen it here, uh, but that's too fast. Wow, that's fast. It was. It covered the whole thing in about. I think that was just the the switch the over. The switch over at eight thousand. Yeah. Yeah, that makes so sense. I happened to get the ghost a bit more in the the other game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you want to eat eat a ghost? Yeah. Yum, yum, yum. Or a Pac-Man. Or either. Whichever is <laughs> either. available. Depends how big they are. Fast ghost is fast. Yeah, that's when it switches over. you got to get all your points before that. Yeah, yeah. So give it one more shot. See so okay. if you can beat your score to 6,000 something. 6 something. Ah. Wasted ghost I opportunity. find it so fast that it's it... speedy. It's a speedy version. Because oh. in ten lines of code, you probably don't have a lot of time for um, doing um, subpixel movement. Oh. So he has to move one, two, three pixels at oh. a time jumped around too much <laughs> cat treats are just pack dots in a different form it's true we yeah. had well we had an idea about how to convert this into a non namco uh yes franchise and uh, put, put the two cats up against each other and cat treats between them well yeah uh it could just be a field of greenies yep, and two cats. so many greenies yeah there you go so we'll see I'll, i will make that at the end just for fun because i think just, it would be fun it's a simple graphical change yeah I just have to somehow represent the two cats in 8x8 eight eight pixels <laughs> and animate them somehow. I'll give it a go. Whoa, that was one pixel away from death. Um, Catman! Ah! Be cat, yeah. cat line 2600. Cat line, yeah. I have to stay on the theme. Uh -huh. Um, does it, does the speed increase with time? I think it increases with level. Let's see. Yeah, with level. And that's, that's how the original game was. Um, the speed increases with level, not time. Oh, he's getting fast now. Too fast. Eh, not too fast. Oh, his timeout is fast. That's for sure. His speed's not too bad yet. Ah. Oh, now it's fast. I think he just crossed over. No! No! Oh, don't even try. Don't even try. Six, yep. five, three, three. One pixel from death. Good band name too. Yes. A, yes. Some some sort of uh, synth band, some yeah. chip tune band. One pixel from death, like a heavier, heavier yeah. chip tune band. Yeah. 
Yeah, a chiptune band with guitars. It, it would be like a chiptune band that only plays um, death metal covers. <laughs> That's right. I think that'd be awesome. That'd be great. Yeah. Uh, so excellent uh, 10 line conversion of this game. Now keep yeah. in mind, this was made in 10 lines. All the logic, all the graphics, the, the titles and everything. Um, you do get a little bit of help on the Atari 8-bit because it does have a character set built in. Mm. On the 2600, you get nothing. You get <laughs> nothing. You add numbers and you subtract numbers and you put tiny pixels on the screen. That's what you get on the 2600. But it's it's always astounding what Vitoko is able to come up with in 10 lines. I know. And how fast he's able to come up it's with it brilliant. as well. Yeah, Vitoko, you, you're the record. master of it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, so how do we know what level we're playing? Okay. Oh, that, that is difficult to find out. You'd have to count. This yeah. is a 120. Wow. Mm. I thought you'd have to do a 256 for this. That's mm. really, really good. I kind of feel like fast basic is cheating now, to be honest. It's so powerful. Mm. Really? Does it have a lot more built in? Or a lot more powerful commands? Like high level commands, I guess. Ah, extreme 256 oh, uh, nice. version with fruits. With fruits. Yeah. So this is the... This one is for the Atari 8-bit. Mm. I don't know if... Um, Vitoka, have you ever made a 5200 conversion of any of your games? Or a 5200 game? Because mm -hmm. uh, obviously they're very, very similar architecture. So uh, now we're going to get to my Yay, updated version updates. of Pack Line. Yeah. 2600. Yep. Yeah. Um, so let's switch over to mine. There we go. Change over this cartridges. Guessing I get to swap these out. Uh, yeah, pick up the other joystick. Okay. Oh, wow. okay. Let me get my notes. So thank you for letting me uh, premiere that, Vitoko. We're going to play two more Vitoko games after this, so stay tuned. Um, what day is it today? So is it the 9th, really? It is oh my gosh, time April is 9th. Okay, mm -hmm. so load it up. And one more. There we go. Ooh. Notice anything? <laughs> Uh, I've made a logo at the bottom. That's the nice. biggest uh, thing that you can notice on that. <laughs> and the font of the uh, score. Yes, you can start playing. You can definitely see the difference in speed. Yeah, it's, it is a touch slower. It's more ramp. No, but it does ramp pace. up. It does ramp oh, up. Oh, it, it ramps up. Okay, so let's go over what I have done. Oh, thank you. Dan likes the logo. You kind of got it. Okay, so the things I have updated. So I updated the ghost eye graphics because he was looking the other way. It looked like he was looking the other way when uh, he was going towards you. So now the dots are kind of in the middle of his eyes and facing towards you. And Vitoko pointed that out. And I'm like, oh, yeah, it really is. And I'll point that out right now. Mm -hmm. Every eight levels, it switches to the next ghost in Pac-Man. Uh, so it starts with Blinky. Now it's on Pinky. And then it will change to Inky and then Clyde. Ah! But you didn't make it there. And they get faster. And they get faster and harder. Um, so I fixed a bug where the ghost, eaten ghost, sometimes travels in the wrong direction. So if you notice when we were playing last time and you ate a ghost right near the edge, mm. it was like, oh. go right to the edge and then turn back immediately. So the actual behavior in the uh, original game is it always goes to the furthest side of the screen. So it gives you enough time oh, to, no. oh, you almost could have done that, but you may not have survived afterwards. So if you eat the ghost there, it'll travel to the left. It, it's, if it's past the middle threshold, okay. that's when it goes to the other side. Um, I did some a whole bunch of code reorganization, which I needed to do to do some of the enhancements that I wanted. Um, I fixed a bug uh, on if the leftmost dot was left, like if mm -hmm. like what you're going to do now, it would have automatically restarted the level without eating that top, that first dot. So I fixed that. That was an easy fix, actually. Um, I fixed the bug 
if it was yeah it's a bug this the score only went to 9999 before now it will go to 99 was it 999,000? You will not get there. I don't think anybody can get there. At least on this version of the game, anyway. It's way too hard. But it can go to that. <laughs> now. Might as well use up all the digits. Um, Pac-Man and the Ghost were both facing right on a game over. They both always constantly faced right when you died. So I fixed that. Oh, you made it to the next level. Oh, careful. Uh, oh. And nobody pointed it out, but on the first version I released, uh, yes, some colors were changed. Uh, we'll get to that. Um, on the first version, Pac-Man glided for a while. Oh. And uh, what was happening is that a counter wrapped around to FF. And until it got down... <laughs> From FF to like seven, I think it's seven frames of animation. So zero six. Then it started doing it, and then it uh -huh. caught. Then it was able to catch up, but uh, there was some wraparound. I didn't check for bounds, so he doesn't glide anymore. Um, I fixed a, a repeated frame of Pac-Man in the animation. It was you're not able to see it too easily, but now it's a lot smoother with the jumping. Uh, no Sue. Um, I may add in some more of those ghosts later on, because there's a whole list of ghosts. Oh, really? With different colors. Um, I may do that, because it might be a lot more fun to add a, oh, I a just got him. ton more ghosts. I was almost, uh, I was a pixel away from death there, oh, too. Oh, pixel away from death. Um, is the blue border and ghost darker than before? It just seems dark compared to the pack 10 liner. Um, yes, I changed the border color. No. Oh, I changed sorry, I the ghost color. Yeah. Um, I think that's about it. I really liked the white dots, even though if you look at Pac-Man, they're like salmon color. Really? Like yeah. they're not quite white? No, they're white. not white at all. They're like salmon color. I'm like, am I misremembering? But I like the white better and this is not Pac-Man anyway. So I just kept them on white. They just stand out a lot more. I changed it to salmon and, went, and they looked really, really bad. Really bad. Um, if the power pellet was left last, you automatically advance to the next level. And that's because I had the power pellet is a, is uh, the ball. Okay. And it's, the ball is two pixels wide. And the pellets or the dots are four pixels wide. So what it would do is hit the play field dots on the screen and it would go, oh, that's the last one. And it would redraw the screen and put the power pellet somebody somewhere else. So that's why it would skip that. So I changed the um, power pellet to a soft um, software uh, collision rather than a hardware collision and that fixed it up. That was challenging, but I did it. Uh, I added the zero page homebrew logo at the bottom, as you can see down there. The lines, I first started doing it with um, Playfield, and it worked out fine, but I would have had to do some saving and then reloading of the Playfield in the middle of the screen mm. for all the dots. And that's the only thing that's drawn with Playfield. So in the end, I went with uh, background colors, so I didn't have to mess with the Playfield at all. And it made it so much simpler. But... In the kernel for drawing zero page homebrew at the bottom, there was almost no time left to position um, the color change for the rainbow. So I had to learn how to do very exact cycle counting. <laughs> and I got rid of the W sync, which tells the 2600 to proceed to the next line immediately. Um, oh Pac-Man dots are white. The arcade game is wrong. Exactly. There's a bunch of extra ghosts in Pac-Mania. Yeah, on the Pac-Man wiki page, there's like, I don't know, like 16 different ghosts. Some have different mm. designs, so I won't do designs because that that introduces a whole other thing. A whole I've, other element. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm not prepared to do that right now. 
Because um, some of them have little spinny tops in Pac-Man Jr. or I things like, like that. Yeah. yeah. So I'd have to redesign the ghost and change the design, which is entirely possible. But I would do that very, 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 very last. Uh, Purple Sue and the green and gray ghosts in Pac-Mania. Yeah, I'll probably do that. Um, so will that logo work in PAL without the W sync? Um, yeah, PAL should be fine for width of the screen. It's the number of lines in PAL that's the uh, that's the problem. Um, so that shouldn't be an if issue. They're technically not dots in the 2600. They're rectangles. What did they call them on Pac-Man? They called them wafers. Are they wafers? They're wafers in the Pac-Man 20, uh, oh, 2600 funny. version. Because really, they can't be dots. They're not really dots? <laughs> so in the picture, there's this leggy Pac-Man grabbing dots with his arms. And eat it. it's so weird and disturbing. The Pac Is it? <laughs> the the Pac-Man advertisements for the 2600. Oh, funny. Super disturbing. Um, I'll get to my to-do list in a second. I've almost done my uh, things that I've done updates since the last version. Um, so the zero page homebrew logo took quite a while to do. Like it was it was tough. Um, but I was able to fit it in 48 pixels across oh, from the Z to the E and it looks it. really nice and it kind of feels wider oh, because it's of so the rainbow. Pretty. I like it. Yeah. And it's something I can add into every game. There you go. That I do. Just a little Cuz it's zero page on the bottom. 12 pixels high. Yeah. So as long as I have 12 pixels at the bottom of the screen, and then you've got you can, I can put always that. put it there. Very nice. Yep. Very nice. Uh, I'm not done. You don't want to play your own no, game? No, no, not, not yet. <laughs> What's your high score? Oh, not not very good. Not Nobody's as good as when I played track it before. No, no, score. it doesn't. I don't know if they have it hasn't been great. The <laughs> Starberry system is singing some Atari song. Your starships caught in an asteroid field. Fire away your blasters and blow away their shields. Mr. Man says, if I remember, it was uh, the 2600 that came up with ghosts instead of the original monsters. I think it was because they had the flicker. So they were kind of transparent. Mm. So they, they said they were ghosts because in the original, they're called monsters. Yes, they are. In the arcade, they're monsters. And in one Pac-Man game, they actually get their sheets snagged on a nail in an intermission, and their sheet comes off, and you can see the their monsters, their monsters under the sheet. underneath. Yeah. yeah, which is really oh three one six five. Thank you, Vitoko. So that's the one you have to beat. Um, <laughs> I changed the score font to match the title font as best as I could. The nine and the six were were challenging. I'm pretty happy with all the rest of the numbers. The nine seems thin and the six seems thin on the stem, but I kept trying and trying, but I, I'm pretty happy with, with, with all of them. And the, the two and the five are a bit pointy at the end, but if I add any more thickness, I, I'm not, I'm not a graphic artist, so I did my best because <laughs> I translated it from uh, uh, a font I found that uh, kind of looked like all these are from two sets of fonts that I, I looked at. This looks like a playable loading screen. Somebody called Bandai for their World 2 remake. Um, I On my to-do list, just to skip ahead, I am going to try and add in something that plays itself, like an attract screen here, which shouldn't be too hard. I just have to disable like the... Um, the ghosts killing Pac-Man and just let it run and have the Pac-Man do some very simple, simple. Oh, you might be in trouble. With it that. might be. With that middle dot, that leftmost dot. Mm, yeah. Uh, you can't, almost four. You cannot leave those I middle know, dots. I know, you have to get the middle ones. Ugh. Three, nine, nine, five, but your you top get the one. points from getting the ghosts. Um, so I updated various game colors mm. just to make it look a little bit better for me. Uh, change the power up to the first and last five dots because they used to be the first and last six dots. Yeah. Um, but that was too hard to get. Like in some cases you can't get the power up if it's gotcha. the sixth dot in. Mm. So I made it just the first five and the last five. Now that makes sense. Yeah. Um, and also I made it a bit more skewed towards the Pac-Man in favor of the Pac-Man. Okay. Where if you both, if the Pac-Man touches the ghost and the power up at the same time, you get the power up. The first. power up, the power up takes, takes effect. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's yeah. you kind of want. Oh, it. baby. 
Okay, so on to the to-do list. Interlevel animations, yeah. Uh, well, <laughs> it's a 4K game. Good luck to me on that. Ad oh. break when you responded to me. Uh, this uh, looks like a playable lo loading screen. Someone call Bandai for the World 2 remake. Yeah. Oh, uh, I was just saying that I'm going to do a non-playable title screen that like when when it's just sitting there in between it'll just start playing itself without any sounds meow you say yes so meow. i'm going to add in this is my on my to-do list before yeah. the game is finished okay so far this is probably it um i'm going to add a high score it's treat time, it's so, young time. oh not yet oh, that's okay. no it's all good it's okay. all good i'm gonna finish off my to-do list i'll just uh, see how far play. I'm, oh, it didn't work. I was going to see how far it would go if I just had him going to It the goes left a little bit sometimes. Yep. Yeah. Okay, are you... Okay, we'll do my to-do list after. Ooh, and catnip. Ooh, what should we do first? I don't know. Should we get them high on catnip? Yes. Or should we... Uh... Atari has a better chance on catnip, I find. <laughs> so. so do we have a couple of uh, coasters? Some good ones. Oh, good ones? This is a good one. This is this is an old one. So we'll okay. use the old ones. Okay. Yeah. That's that's for May's giveaway. Catnip first, Fatoko says. Okay, okay, sounds good. Let's see if we can level the playing field here a little bit. Oh, and this will let me finish my to-do list okay. as well. They yeah. can eat some catnip. You can talk about your to-do list. Nope, nope, there's some here for you. Right there. Oh, there's a big twig. There you go. You over there. You over there. <laughs> try, try to keep your distance. Eat it. Yum, yum, yum. Both at once. Oh, thank you, Daryl. Hey, Daryl! See who's motivated by what. Yeah. yeah. Okay, so play again. Me? Yep. Okay, but we're watching the cats, right? Oh, okay, just leave it on the cats, then. Well, I can so play my... in the background while the cats uh, catnip out. So on, my... so on my to-do list, um, I want to add in a high score. Mm -hmm. um, so it'll flash between your score and the high score at the end. Nice, nice. After the game is over. And it'll say high score um, when the score high score comes up. Um, I'm going to be adding in the fruit um, yes. from Packline. Now, Packline is the only one with fruit. Oh, so Paku Paku doesn't have does fruit. Does not have fruit. Interesting. And that's, this is done after uh, Packline, of course. Um, so I have to add in flicker code for the fruit. So it'll alternate between the ghost and the fruit. Ghost fruit, 30, like every second frame. Is that breadboard treat platter? <laughs> <laughs> no. Board. No, it's just a uh, little coaster. Just a zero page coaster tree platter. <laughs> um, uh, and uh, the fruit, I don't think, will be multicolor on the play field, but it'll be multicolor be beneath the play field. Multicolor. The oh, okay. So it keeps track of which fruit you have um, obtained. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if I'll be able to do... I might just show one at a time. I don't know what I'm going to do there. We'll see. We'll see how it goes. Uh, we're going to... I'm going to add in a two-player mode. <laughs> um, and Tanya and I have been talking about the two-player mode. Yeah, I've got ideas. Kind of... Oh, oh, I didn't mean to do that. Get those middle ones. Uh, trying to figure it out. So what the two-player mode is going to be is that there's going to be two Pac-Mans on ideas. the screen. Yeah. Um... That's yes. Fine. That's fine. There's going to be two Pac-Mans on the screen. Different colored Pac-Mans, so you can keep track. One's going to be yellow, and one's going to be... I don't know what color. Another another bright color. Um, and they are both going to be going after the power pellet. And when one gets the power pellet, the other one will turn blue. And you can chase the other ghost and try and eat them. And of course, the, the speed changes. So that you'll be able, you'll be faster and they'll be slower. So yes. you can go eat them. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and there'll be two sets of scores. Yeah. And you will have lives or you'll play up to a certain amount, certain mm -hmm. power pellets, something like that. Two player versus. Yes. Yeah. You'll be chasing each other. Um, so I, I have to find game balancing so that it'll work I have work some right. ideas for that, but I think that'll. Wait. We'll see. Yeah. Yeah. I have some ideas. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, Run faster. Oh. Ah. Um, yeah, like Pac-Man Battle Royale. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. What uh, does the fruit, the fruit do? Um, the fruit... It's a 
whole it's just, bunch of points. It's just, it's, it's a bunch of points. That's what the fruit is. <laughs> it's, it's extra points. So it, but it's hard to get the fruit because the ghost is there and the fruit starts in the middle. And, and then it just to the goes outside. to the middle to the outside and then it's gone. Alternates every time it comes out. Yeah. And a fruit comes out every level, I believe. Yeah. So every, every level or every four? I think, I think it's every level. Okay. And, and if you don't get it, it just goes to the next level. And I think there's, I don't know, however many fruit. I'm going to try and put in as many fruit as possible into the game. Cycle it through like Pac-Man. Yeah. So I'll take all the Ms. Pac-Man fruit, all of the Pac-Man fruit, and, uh, and it'll be bouncing, hopefully. Um, and it should be, I, I hope I can find a nice game balance that it should be fun. Mm -hmm. And I think, and I think I can. I think you can. And it'll be like speed differentials and the one who gets eaten actually speeds up so that you can get away you can get away easier if you're losing so it kind of has a built-in game balancing yeah however i mean i i i one thing i'm interested in is whether you want the pac-man who becomes the ghost yeah um, to have the same limitations as the ghost, oh, yeah. where it can't get off the edges of the screen. Yeah. Yeah. Something like yeah. that. Something like that. Yeah. 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 This will turn into quite the party game. <laughs> yes. Um, I'm going to implement an attract screen into this as well. Mm. So when you're not playing, I already said that. Oh, yeah. It just plays itself very badly. Um, <laughs> um, I'm going to put a f flash of fire to start message when it's on the attract screen. Okay. So you know that you're not playing. Uh, I'm going to put a level number on the screen. Nice. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Yeah. Because yeah. that's a nice thing to have. It's like, oh, I made to it to see level. How, how far you've gotten. Yeah, yeah. Good luck making it to level 33 to wrap right around to the red ghost again. He's full. He's full catnip now. Yeah. He's completely covered in it. He's rolling around on the floor. I know you're not watching me play, so. <laughs> and then finally, a PAL version of the game. Yes. Yes. And then I will be done and I will move on to my next game. Yeah. I think it's time to do trick yep, time now. It is. Okay. Are you ready? Are you ready, cats? cats? who are now completely covered in cats. So let's start oh, up here. the betting. Hit the ding dings. Start your bets. Start here your bets. we go. It's time for the treats. Time for the treats. Time for the treats. So you can bet on one of these two cats. Whichever All the treats. Whatever cat you want. Yeah. <laughs> now, we're going to tell you, be upfront about it, Atari does better after catnip, generally, yes. we found. However, Sprite does tend to have the edge in most he games. He normally has the edge, yep. He's got a little bit more energy. Yep. He, he He's faster at eating them, yep. and Atari tends to take his treats away, which takes up time. Yeah. Uh, so light. <laughs> Atari's been stealing treats, so you have yes. to be very careful. Oh no, I'm I'm good. I every time I watch Erlen, I'm like, no, don't <laughs> let him get the treats. Which it's which bad. makes uh, Sprite just win instantly. Yeah, because like, then Sprite's hungry and goes back for the bell, right? And, so. and Atari's so occupied. Yeah, I know. Uh, Nostalgic says, what do you think of having game variations for whether to include fruits and the control scheme left, right, or single yeah, button? Yeah, I think that's actually, that's actually pretty... I don't like single button. You don't so. like, you don't like having different control schemes no. in a game? No? I mean, I, I, I like that. <laughs> that's okay. Nah, I like left and right. It's, it's, because this is modeled after pack line. Yeah. Which is, has a left and right. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have a little more than half the time over. We got a black kitten. We got Sprite. Sprite. We got a gray cat. We've got Atari. Atari. How are the bets going? Oh, we let's have. Let's take a look. Let's take a look. I think people See are leaning in on Atari. Very nice. Who Seventy-eight they are. percent. One don't to want two to for Atari. Don't you, but that's it's not oh, a bad Oh, a little bet. bit on Sprite. A little yep. bit on Atari. Um, yep. Sprinkled here and there. Yep. Yep, we're we're gonna see how uh, under the influence Sprite is. <laughs> yeah, he's very rubby right now. He can't handle his. Yeah, he's very rubby. Yeah, <laughs> which is unusual. For yep. when treats are coming. Yeah. So you got about uh, five seconds left. Yeah. Put your bets in. Your Get last those minute bets. bets. In. And oh. it is over. It's over. Okay. okay. So we have a lot of people with a lot of faith in Atari today. Thank you for following the war 2029. Nice. Oops. Okay, you ready? Okay, kitties. Oh, cats. Oh. Oh, yep. hit the bell. That, you hit the bell. That's oh, Atari. Oh, there you go, Atari. 
Oh, and, and spray. Close behind. Off. One, one. Off to the races. Oh, no, no, no. That didn't happen. <laughs> Ring your bells. Oh, oh there's I think Terry. that was a tie. Oh, and, and spray. Sprite. Good night, oh, S. Ramirez. Good night, S. Ramirez. I expect to see a very good score in yep. the morning. There you go, Atari. It's Atari's. Nope. You missed. That didn't make a sound. Got to do better. No, he's just pawing it. Oh, no, he's so soft. And oh, Atari, Atari gets another one. Gets it is 4 point. 2. Atari pulls ahead. Sprite is Sprite. dazed and confused. There you go. Very dazed. He's too high to ring the bell. Atari can yep. handle his catnip a little bit better. Ring it. Oh, oh a nice Atari. strong one. He's still two ahead. Wow. Oh, there, that did work. Sprite, Sprite light, got but it there. there. Sprite's doing the old soft paw again. <laughs> yeah. Doing the soft paws shuffle. Oh, there we Atari. go. Six four. He's keeping ahead. Oh, Still there soft he goes. Paw, but he manages so to fluff. ring it. Too much fluff on his paws. Too much fluff. He does have a lot of fluff. Come on, get it. Harder. You didn't hit it. Harder. Come on. Harder. Oh, don't walk away from it. No, you missed it. There, there you, you go. go. Still two ahead now. Sprite was watching him. Oh, there you go. He's being polite. Waited till he was finished. <laughs> Okay, they're both chewing. Sprite's licking his paws, cleaning it off. There you and go, Atari. Atari maintains his two-point lead. Sprite oh, brings Sprite up the rear. Behind, He's though, closing close in. Who's oh. next? And oh, oh Sprite, Sprite gets it. He ties it up. Oh, Atari, Atari. almost stole it. Atari. Come on, ring your bell. Oh, there we there's go. Atari. It is game point for Atari. It is any cat's game now. Oh, Sprite has tried to steal it. What a waste of time. That's not a good tactic for Sprite. He's going back to his bell. He is oh. soft pawing it, but he gets it. Now he's tied. It is game point. Oh. And Atari rubs it in. Yeah, and good Sprite's job. Bell. And some concession Just treats. Just to add injury to insult. Insult to injury. Insult to injury. Woo! <laughs> so Atari. So all of you who bet on Atari. Can you open this for me? Oh, okay. Uh, Good call. <laughs> Very good call. Yeah. Very good call. Definitely, definitely whisker. Sprite is a little bit impacted by that catnip. He is. It's consistent. <laughs> Have a good night, Daryl. Night, Daryl. Okay, uh, so Atari wins by one. So who got the monies? <laughs> yeah, that was the heavy bet. So 10,000 points go to Atari 800 XL rules and two other people. Congratulations. Uh, let's see if I can get any more details. Not really. Nope. No more details. So congratulations to Atari 800 XL Rules. You get all the channel points. Good job. Very good job. Oop. So now it is my stuff. turn to play my game. Yay. So is, what, what was your top score there? Oh, Did you get I a top score? I was just shy of four, I think. 3,995. Yeah, it was just score. shy of four. Okay. Yeah. So let's switch back. I know, you, I know he'll beat me. He plays this all day. <laughs> well, I have to test it. So, can I have the joystick? Uh, yes, you may. See Three. if I can get to the red ghost. I don't think so. <laughs> wrap around to the oh, red ghost. Oh, wrap around to the red ghost, yeah. It's near impossible. Oh, God, that was terrible. Wasted. Wasted points. Oh, how are you doing, Sprite? <laughs> sleeping it off. He is sleeping it off. He's like licking the carpet right now. I'm not sure what's up with him. Silly cat. So silly. I did throw down a bunch of treats, but still. He's, uh, he's being silly. No, oh, gotta get closer. Come on. It's true. When the time is short, you almost have to... Yeah, at some point you just can't. It doesn't, it doesn't work. <laughs> you can't really even get the ghost. So the tactic is you have to get the middle dots. As yeah. That's your number one goal. Well, in the beginning, you don't have to get the ones, but uh, very quickly you have to always, after getting the power pellet, eat the middle ones. Yeah, because that's where you get stuck, basically. Yep. You, cannot re you can't reach them unless you have a power pellet. Especially later in the game. Yeah. Oh, 
Damn it. No! Oh. It's terrible. Don't record that score. <laughs> <laughs> it just immediately starts over. Hi. Hi, Sprite. Come here. Why are you sniffing the ground there? Oh, there's a kitty. Why are you sniffing the ground? Because I'm a silly cat. Are you trying to eat all the catnip off the ground? I saw some catnip on the ground. No, oh, you suck so cat. in catnip oh my goodness <laughs> covered he just rolls he around in it saving it for later yeah yeah he's like that's why i'm fluffy What is the order of them? Uh, Blinky, Blinky, Pinky. Pinky. What's the blue one again? Uh, Clyde is the yellow one, right? No, Clyde, Clyde is, is orange. 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 Inky. Oh. Right? Blinky. <laughs> I don't know. Blinky, one. Pinky, Inky, Inky and, Clyde? and Clyde. Yeah. That's it. This is Inky. Inky. Which makes sense. Inky is blue. Yeah. That's cutting close. Don't do that at home, kids. One pixel away from death. That oh, was close. Run away. Run away. Run away. Oh, 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 oh. It's fast now. The middle. Just get the middle now. <laughs> Don't bother. Which color is stinky? Stinky. That's the chartreuse colored ghost. <laughs> the stink lines. That's right. There he is. There's Clyde. There's Clyde. He just had to stand out and you couldn't put key in his name. <sighs> Can't believe I got him. I think Clyde. Oh, I'm dead. Oh. Maybe. Maybe. Yeah, uh, I think you are. He has to almost get you. Uh, no, it's not going to happen. Got to try. <gasps> oh. Yeah, because as soon as you get it, you still have to run away from him. Unless the power pellet is right there. It's not, because it's always on the opposite oh, side. Oh, so you're always... Yeah. That's a very good score. Yeah. I will take that one if somebody wants Which to record color that Which color Go to the neighbors and do that. <laughs> <laughs> 7052, thank you, Vitoko. Oh, nice. Uh, they have actual names plus alternate names that appeared in bootleg games. Nice. Basically, they have more names than characters in a Russian There novel. you go. I'm going to try one more. Hot. I don't know if I'll get that score, but that's I'm very happy with that one. I think Clyde is an underused name. I don't know anybody can name Clyde. Like Clyde is that's an I think of name. like Bonnie and Clyde. Yeah. That's the last real Clyde I think I've I've heard of in a long time. Yeah. Yeah. Um it's 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 it's, it's primed for a comeback, I think. And so yeah. around this point, mm. the game almost gets impossible. Yes. Um, so I have to put a cutoff point, a limitation on something. Probably the speed of either the speed of the ghost or the recovery of the ghost or both. Um, so that it's like almost impossible. But if you always do it perfectly, like get the power pellet, get the middle and then wrap around. So I still have to do some balancing of the game in terms of that. Yeah. Yeah. I because, wonder because I, otherwise this is like that's as far as you can go. I wonder if you want to make it hard. But Both Pac-Man could increase in speed a tiny amount at the same time as right. the ghost, but not as much as the ghost. So it makes the game so harder. So it slows. So you move a little faster, yeah. which is fun, but then it's you're not moving as fast, so it slows the progression a little bit more. Yes. Yeah, I think that might be a solution as well, but while making the game faster and faster, yes. which makes it you have to and get then, better reflexes. And then you'll hit a, you'll hit an endpoint with with the speed, <laughs> and then and then the ghost will just get faster and faster. Because I want until you're to because yeah. I want to extend the gameplay. Yeah, 
but not extended in a way that, well, if you're awesome, you play forever. Yeah, 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 yeah. 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 I think it's acceptable for a small game to just get more difficult to the point of impossibility, though. Ah, I, I, there is an acceptable point, but I think it's a little too short of a game at the moment. So I think the idea of you hit level whatever, you know, it's around level. Yeah. Um, so right now it's between level 21 mm-hmm. or 8 through 24 and 32. Okay. Because it changes to uh, Clyde at uh, 24. Okay. And then at 33, it flips over, or okay. 25 to 32. Okay. And then at 33, it flips back over okay. to the original ghost. Yeah. Um, so maybe when it starts hitting him at 24, yeah. Pac-Man's speed starts to increase. You think so? I would do yeah. it almost earlier and then stop it at a certain point. So it's a little bit of a faster game, and then the ghosts just get faster and faster. Do you know what I mean? Like, they both ramp up in speed, and okay. then, but then at a certain point... Mm. Yeah, I don't know. Uh, drop in a cycle mode that can be endless. It just loops back to the start. Oh, no, I don't like that. <laughs> don't listen to me. I don't know anything. <laughs> yeah, I have seen games that are just go up to really, really fast, and then it goes back down to slow That's again. That's true. That's I'm true. not super happy with that. As I recall, the original pack of pack with the speed of everything increases. increases. But, but the, the ghost... ghost is always a little bit faster, because that's what I was right. thinking. Both speed up, but the ghost gets a little bit faster. And at right. a certain point, the ghost is so fast that... But, it, I mean, it, it allows for more incremental difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. It's I'll have possible. to think about that. But because I, I do... I think the solution is to be speeding up the Pac-Man. Because after playing Vitopo's game where the Pac-Man is fast, it's yeah. like, oh, it's fun to play a fast Pac-Man. True. So speeding up Pac-Man a little bit along with a, the ghost, but then at fun. a certain point that would end and the ghost would just continually get, you know, impossibly hard. But yeah, um, yeah. and I'm with I'm with Cyrano, um, or I think it was Cyrano. I can't remember um, that small games can just go to impossibility. Like it, it's always interesting to see how far people can get when, oh, when you do yeah. that. Yeah. But I, I, I don't mind it going to impossibility. I just want it to be longer till yeah. it gets to impossibility. Right now it's, it's not that long. Uh, I decided that, Vitogo said, I decided that my version had to be limited. That's why at level 25, oh, I just scrolled off the screen. <laughs> um, um, that's why at level 25, Blinky doubles your speed. Then all is about to not waste power pills to get the max score. Yeah. Yeah. Another option is just to repeat the higher levels, such as 25 to 30. Right, just keep repeating yeah. over, but if... <gasps> Where did Bernie? Oh, did you get Bernie? Oh my goodness! Thank you. We need a Bernie alert. Bernie down. Bernie no, down. No, there is there is one like there's an issue. There's an issue. Oh. Alert, alert. <laughs> there is, and somebody's used it for Bernie, Bernie. before. Yep. So who who um how how long have we been playing? Who put bets on uh? Bernie. Whatever hour we're at now. Oh, uh, uh, one hour and seven minutes. <laughs> oh no, minutes. I wrecked it. Uh... Who? So you took down Bernie? Usually the gray cat. He did. Oh, that distracted. That's what it looks like. Bad, fluffy. Bernie down. Bernie alert. Bernie down. <laughs> Bernie alert. Oh my goodness. It's like there's this problem with the stream. I yeah, think that's... <laughs> yeah, that's the one. Bernie down is a problem with the stream. Yeah, it is a problem <laughs> with the stream. Such a beautiful little Bernie. Handmade. Yes. By Mrs. Muddy Funster. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, if I could find a formula that scales up the speed of the ghost and the speed of the Pac-Man in a way that, that is makes incremental, it easy, yeah, yeah, then that would be a really good way to do it. Yeah, because then it's just one formula I have to stick to, and then I don't have to check oh, what level they on. Blah blah blah. No, it just if level blah, then yeah. yeah. And I can just do one thing. Okay, every level, this happens. That's it. Oh, 
Oh, I also have to do all the sounds. <laughs> you don't like are... the cracker crunching? Uh... I do like the, the... Oh, no. I oh. messed up bad. Maybe I'm fast enough. No, you, you literally cannot get the center. The center dog. You can get the outside ones early on in the yeah. game, but you can't get the center one. So right now, at what level is the ghost faster than Pac-Man? Oh, the ghost is always faster. Always faster. Starts faster, yeah. Yeah. Oh, I'm playing like an idiot. Oh, I got it! <laughs> Somehow, just barely got it. Except when he dies. He's always slower, or when, oh, when he dies. When you eat the power pellet, the when ghost is always... I call it scared. Scared. scared, yeah. When he's scared, he's slower. he runs away, so he's scared. Yeah. yeah. So you are faster than him when he's... That's the only but then time. that time period that you can get him is very short. It gets um, shorter and shorter. At the higher levels, yeah. Just, you know, ex explaining how Pac-Man works. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Oh, I love Pac-Man. It's a simple to learn, hard to master game. Yeah. That's the perfect type of game. And this one's even simpler to understand. You just go straight in a line. I always find going to the arcade, it's really hard not to play at least a few rounds of Miss Pac-Man. Speedy Miss Pac-Man? Yes. Well, it doesn't have to be speedy. Just, yeah. you know, regular. But I like speedy, too. Speedy's fun. It's very satisfying, too, when your score is like just, you're it's like, huge. wow, my score is great. And then James is like, you're on, you're on, on speedy mode. you're on illegal speed mode right now. And I'm like, ah! Oh. Illegal speed. Illegal speed mode. Oh, that was dumb. That's yeah, okay. That's the easiest way to get the ghost on a higher level. Is 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 to is double when, back? When the power pellet is right at the edge of one of them, and you just you hit it, and the ghost goes the opposite way, and the ghost is on the other side. Like, oh, like I see. There, but he's too. He turns too quick now. Right now is about eating the middle dots. That's it. An arcade near me has Speedy pa Junior Pac-Man, says Nostalgic. Speedy, Speedy mode is about the only way to succeed. Ken, can yeah. you get this kitten away from me? It's oh, about to come disrupt my on. game. Oh. <gasps> oh, no. Succeed in that game. It's hard. Yeah. Pa um, junior Pac-Man is hard. Baby Pac-Man's even harder. I love Baby Pac-Man. <gasps> it is so hard, though. Damn it! Um, okay. I think I... Think I <laughs> think oh, 53 cents. No, I did good. much better last time. Did you? Yep. Okay. Uh, oh, Vitogo says there is also a limitation for the score in my game. Fast Basic uses 16 bits signed integers, so the max score is 32768. <laughs> That's a lot. Then it goes back to minus 32768. For higher scores, floating point is available for variables, but it's slower. Hmm. Oh, well, you could just so, combine two 16 bit integers. <laughs> well, you just reduce the score for the points, and then no one yep. ever gets there. <laughs> So I will be uploading uh, this version of the game nice. after the show so everyone else can enjoy it and find some bugs. So far, it has no bugs. That's excellent. We didn't find any bugs. I know, no. Cross my fingers. No. Nope. Um, now it's just enhancements and making it better. Nice. Yay. Yay. Um, but I definitely introduced a bunch of bugs while I was upgrading it, that's for sure. Mm. Okay, we're going to continue on with some Vitoko games. Yay. Um, so let's switch back. Atari says yes. Next one is Pac-Man-esque as well, actually. Um, hopefully it stays nice and white and bright. Yes, mm. good, good. <laughs> so I far, think so you've, good. you've figured out what the issue is. I think so as well. Okay, so let's go. The next one is called Chase Me. And I will read some stuff while you... Okay. Lay it. Oh, you're so purry. Excellent. And this um, did, got in second place. Oh, yeah. In the 10-liner contest. Oh, cat. Cat disruption. Um, so this was put out on uh, February 1st, 2024. It's 91K ATR. Um, oh, and I'd like to say that the... Um, 
Vitoga's first game, the Pac-10 liner, is a 4K game as well. A 4K, 4K XEX game. Mm. Oh, a little bit of screen corruption there. Yeah. Um, it might be my system, though. And we last played this March 19th, 2024. So instructions, you are the green guy. Use the joystick to move around. There are lots of coins you have to collect, but one or more guardians are there to chase and catch you. There are three guardians uh, taking care of the coins, each with his own personality. Blue, oh, there's lots of corruption. Oh, I'm st oh, stuck there for a second. That's probably me though. Why is it, why is it going nuts? Glitches. I don't know, is it your version? I don't know. Let's uh, switch over to S video. Okay, don't move yet. Okay. Or actually, I think it starts moving automatically. Sorry. It's okay. Oh, yes which is related connected. to sound. Oh, not oh. the dots or the sound, probably. Uh, it's not plugged in. You already had some treats. <laughs> More treats? He's like, but I didn't win. Just have to try harder next okay, time. We'll find out if it is the VBXE not playing well. Yeah, it was a VBXE not playing well. No sound though. Oh! Zap shocking. yourself? No! So shocking. I'll have to deal with S video. A little bit crappier, but. There's something about it that just reminds me of old VHS tapes. <laughs> Doesn't it? A little bit lower quality. Yeah. yeah it's kind of VHS level. Um, so, Pink, he moves through the whole maze taking unexpected paths that could interfere with uh, your plans. Yes. Orange, beware, he is as fast as you. So, that's the orange guy. They always move forward, except on paths with a dead end. When you collect all the coins, you gain access to the next maze. There are 60 levels with different maze and guardian variations. One of the guardian, If one of the guardians catches you, you lose a life and proceed to the next maze if there are lives left. Uh, you recover life when you clean a maze. Try to keep them all to face those impossible mazes and do your best. Uh, if you lose all three lives, the game is over. Press the button to start again. Luckily, you can gain... Le uh, lives back. Oh, I'm having trouble with the joystick. Oh. Is yeah. it a troublesome joystick? It is. Sorry, that's the troublesome joystick. It's it's right there. Is it? So, yeah. I have to redo that joystick. Um, da, 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 da. there's additional bonus for remaining lives available. The perfect score is uh, in hexadecimal 3557. Nice. Will you be able to reach it? Oh no, it's dollars. Sorry. Oh, you lost all your lives. Yeah, I you died. Over. I died. Oh, what am I doing? It's always the fault of the controller. This one it is. is. This one is actually a problem controller. It does have some troubles. I think I have to get a new uh, cable for it. I, I do have to get a new cable for it because the, the problem is inside the wire. Um, yeah. He's just looping around protecting that area. There you go. So development of the game. A ZPH show presented some homebrew for the Atari Lynx console. And one of them was Chase by Osio Team 2022. A port of Chase by Shiru 2004 for the NES Famicom console, which was also ported by Jonas Carlson uh, for the Atari 7800 in 2020. I immediately thought it was a good candidate for a 10-liner, and I said that during the show. I don't know how he does this one. I don't know either. In 10 lines, all these mazes. It's crazy. Oh my god. Some days later, I started a prototype uh, in Fast Basic using Text Mode 3, Antic Mode 7, with a narrow playfield, 16x12 instead of 20x12. Oh no. Oh, you could have got it. Oh, there you go. Uh, using double line resolution player missile graphics, I could manage four sprites in a very simple way. One for the player and three for the enemies. I decided to move the player every two pixels, and the enemies move every single pixel. Maze size would have a maximum of 16 by 11 tiles, and the top line would keep the score and the stats. <laughs> Later, it was time to add some AI to make the enemies move. In order to save coding space, I figured out how to manage horizontal and vertical movements in a single procedure. 
The solution was simple. A single routine to manage current direction is forward and give it the current parameters to let it recognize perpendicular movements to check for free paths. Then the routine could be called with one set of parameters. If the enemy was moving horizontally and transpose the parameters if it was moving vertically. After tuning it in a few, the enemies could uh, move through all the maze. To make more interesting, I gave them different personalities. One of them always tries to chase the player and other runs fast as a player. At the moment, there, at that moment, there's no collision detection, but the player could eat the dots while moving around. The next step was to add pixel art to the stot tiles and sprites. While testing a fresh version of Atari Font Maker ooh, uh, by Matosimi and Retrocoder, I created some candidates for this game uh, and selected those that worked best. The idea was to make four tiles to use all four available colors in this text mode to make it as colorful as the original. I tried different variations, but the problem is the only two colors could be used per tile. And one of them must be background. Ooh, that's limiting. I moved the score line to the bottom because that way I could change tile colors for each level and set a fixed palette for the score using DLI. But I felt that the result was not going in the right direction. As a test, I created another... Oh, it's very long. Oh, I can't read all this. <laughs> it's very, very long. All the development... Uh... Yeah, but he does have all his development information on uh, his 10-liner page. Nice. And it even goes into ah, very ah. detailed pseudocode for every line of his code. Nice. So if you want to learn um, coding, it's actually a really good way Place to, to learn, look. Yeah. To learn uh, basic coding, basic programming. Kev. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Oh, danger. Oh, no. You're taking risks. There you go. Yay! Money, 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 money. Yeah, this one's hard. Because it's so small. You're yeah. at the whim of their movements. The blue guy always chases you so you can entice him right. into certain locations. <laughs> yeah, you can, just like in, like, Load Runner, you can make them move in the way you want them to move. Run! He traverses the maze. Follow, it seems to follow a, oh, maybe not, maybe not. I don't know if he follows a specific path. No, he doesn't. It's just fast. The toko is each tile four small characters, two tall, and narrow characters are one big character. He said he did double line characters. I would guess it's one character. Oh, Ugh, yeah. yeah gonna, that's hard. Two tall characters. Okay. This guy is like all over the place. Oh my god. I don't know anything about 8-bit game uh, programming. <laughs> or even the player missile graphics thing. All I know is they have four. Just like the 2600 has two. Two, two sets of a player and a missile. And the Atari 8-bit has four player and missile characters. But the Atari 8-bit has a whole bunch of different graphics modes. Based on resolution and number of colors you can use. Because obviously more colors, less resolution because unlike the Atari 2600, where you draw line by line, you draw area by area, or yeah, I think it's like area by area, like the 7800. Yeah, you're in a good position here. Because you know they can't turn around, so once they're on a path, they have to keep going. Mm -hmm. Do need to learn more about the graphics modes of the Atari 8-bit and 5200 and 7800. And mostly I concentrate on the fun of the game. <laughs> and the playability and the graphics and based on, you know, the yeah. capabilities of the system. But knowing the capabilities is, is a big bonus. Like, I'm quite familiar with the 2600 now. Like, what it can and can't do. Yeah. Um, but these other systems, not, not as much. 
Uh oh. Oh, that was lucky. They both ah! went in the right same direction. Ah, I'm not going where I want to go. Oh, gotta press the joystick in the right direction. Oh no! He oh. follows you. He always follows you. Oh my God! Whoa! Cutting it so close. I like to. Oh! <laughs> I was looking at the blue guy, and I'm like, oh, why am I not moving? <laughs> Nostalgic says, I thought Antic Mode character could have three colors plus background, and a fourth if printed in reverse mode. Inverse mode. Where does the two color limitation come from? Hmm. Oh, oh my gosh. At least you know the last one you can end there. Yes, you don't have to escape. You get teleported magically to the next level. Magical teleporting. Um... So I've been thinking on and off about my next game. Mm -hmm. um, and and also when to reveal what it's about and how much to reveal it, what it's about. Um, I can tell you that it's action platformer mm -hmm. right now. I think I already said that. Um, it's a game that definitely does not exist on the 2600. Nobody's made this style of game on the 2600 ah. before. Luckily, you don't have to repeat that level once you're... Uh, no, dead. but... Oh, uh, my God. Oh, my uh, God. Right into them. Such a small... The small spaces are probably the hardest. Ah! Yeah, they are. Oh, game oh. over. That was a good run. I'll that do one run. run. That was really fun. This is a JAG Studio game, right? Says Cyril. Oh, the one I'm making? No, he really wants me to make a JAG game. Yeah? No. No, no JAG you'd have games. To, you'd, have to, you'd have to get a lot of help from Cyrano, I think. Oh. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Maybe. That was I don't fun. know. Maybe it's easy to program in JAG Studio. What's, what's, what's the language uh, comparable to? For JAG? For Jag Studios, here, no? There you go. Oh, stop looping around. Yeah, he does like to loop around oh in one god. area. Oh my god, get out of there. Super easy, barely an inconvenience. <laughs> <laughs> Basic seer assembler. Um, how many levels are there? So ask Carl, Carl G. Uh, I don't know, there are quite a 60 few. Levels? 60! Yeah. Wow. They, they are repeated. There's... Well, the mazes repeat, but. I don't. Uh, the number of characters to, uh, change. Yeah, like the the, the, the enemies characters. changes, right? Every level. Yes. Yeah. So it's a variation on a number yeah. of levels. I believe. Yeah, yeah, it is. I can't remember how many. Vitoko can fill. Nostalgic says, I guess the harder part of programming a Jaguar game is the graphic and sound assets. I... With a twenty six hundred, you can get away with programmer <laughs> art and beeps and boops. <laughs> um. To an extent, unless your name is John Champo. Yeah. <laughs> then, you need, then you need a Nathan Strum. Yes. Because pff, you can do some... Ma oh, my God. I know. You, so get, you get lucky. He's all over the place. Because you can do some pretty magical things with uh, what uh, John Champo is able to program. So you need the 3D rendered graphics on Turbo Arcade. It's like, oh, my God. <laughs> it is 3D. Yeah, they're 3D rendered. They were at one point... Rendered in 3D, I think. Mm. Or Photoshop or After Effects or something. Oh, it was just madness. Madness. I like the bouncy um, coin picking up noise. <sighs> yeah, it's a good noise. Yeah, I have to have some good... I have to come up with some good um, sounds? noise sounds for the... Yeah. I might just Pac try Pac-Man sounds. Sure. Like, just go for it. You can have the... Sound when he dies. Yeah, and I found a. And he turns very... into a banana peel. Yeah. <laughs> was, oh yeah, I do uh, have to do that. Is that what he is? Because that's what I always thought as a kid. He just he became he like peeled like a banana. He, he became a banana peel. Like that's a banana. what I always I always. So I do have to add in some more animation for the death. I need to add yeah. that to the list. I always forget. There are 17 mazes in total. Some of them appear after level 30, 40, and 50. So oh. some only exist at the higher levels. Okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Um, I found a very good Atari 2600 tracker program, mm. ma uh, music maker. Um, and it, the funny thing is, is it runs only on the C Commodore 64. 
So you have to oh, make your yeah, music you on the saying. Commodore 64. Yeah. And it sounds glorious. Oh my God. <laughs> it sounds like Commodore 64 music. Nice. Um, it does have to update 16 times a frame. <laughs> um, so there are uh, limitations, let's say. Mm -hmm. um, so, but I'm hoping maybe I can put in some music in the title screen or something. Um, but unfortunately, my title screen is my whole game <laughs> at the moment. So oh, everything's always on screen at all times. Um, so, but I might be able to use it mm -hmm. to make sounds mm. and it might be able to use it well that way. Um, that's kind of how the 7800 is able to make the TIA sound really good because it is able to update it more times a second. It's like the same sound chip, but uh, it just uh, squeezes more out of it. Just like if you update the um, volume register a lot, you can do sampled sounds on the 2600. <clears throat> and voices, but I'm not using an accelerator chip, like an arm. So I don't have all the time in the world to do lots and lots of updates. Nostalgic says, update 16 times per frame. That sounds like you're trying to read paddles. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's right. That's what you have to do with paddles. Constantly read them. But, oh my god. I can't remember the name of the tracker right now. Oh no! That's okay. Um, but definitely check out some of this like just type in C64. Oh my god. Oh, I have lost life. Uh, C64 Atari 2600 tracker. There's literally only one. No, 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 no. And game over. Boo. Okay, we're on to the last game. Right. Which is a puzzle game. Oops, Tanya will be excited. About Get puzzles. That. Hi, are you excited too, Sprite? Sprite's very excited. It's called The Children. It's from 2021. If you want to load it up. Chase me? No, not Sorry. chase me. <laughs> did I just, I just press the button. I think I did. That was not intentional. <laughs> Let's load the same game. Uh, what do I do? Left and Left button. And button, yeah. Oh, there you go. Puzzle, yes. Very cool yeah. puzzle. Um, so, <laughs> children. Oh, yes, yes, yes. So we played this a little bit. So, description Pedro has been commanded to rescue the child, but he realized that there are many of them. That's why it's called the children. Nice. Really need to watch The Mandalorian. Yeah, it's supposed to be one of the good ones. Yep. Hi, Floofies. Um,. Find a way to reach your target. Yellow rocks can be pushed to clean your path. You can move up and down through ladders, or you can securely fall from any height, but you cannot jump upwards. To get a target, you must approach them only by the side. You can remove dirt to find a path, but be careful. If there are objects above, they might fall and block your path. If you think you fell in a trap, press the button to restart the zone. There's no backtrace to undo your latest movements. Some zones have many targets, and you must get all of them to clear the zone. The game is over when all the zones are cleared. If you fail in some zones, a message will appear with the number of times you had to repeat the zone. If there is no message, congratulations, you did excellent work. Press the button to start all over again. Boing, 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 boing. Uh, from time to time, some game genres became popular, and ports or new development appears for some console or computer. Sometimes I think that it could be simplified to be programmed in a temp liner. During the first half of January, I had to test some games for ZPH's annual Homebrew Awards 2020, and some of those games were Pit Cat uh, for the 2600 and Million Molly for the Atari 7800. Yeah, there was a bunch, a rash of these games that came all out all at once. And fail. Hmm. Um, both were based on games that evolved from the game Pitman or Cat Trap 
a game written in basic for the sharp mz 700 in 1985 i didn't know that fact when i decided to try a simplified version for the 10 liners contest of the one i tested this game is even more impressive that it is in 10 lines all this these... is in 10 lines yes this is a 10 liner as well that's from pedro pascal the actor behind the mandalorian nice Mask. nice i like pedro pascal Somebody who watches Ryan George. Yes, Ryan George is awesome. Yes. Gotta love Ryan George. Barely an inconvenience watching Ryan George. <laughs> <laughs> Super easy. Barely an inconvenience. That's right. Uh... Ten liners are tight. <laughs> Uh, I started from scratch in Fast Basic because I wanted to use some graphical tricks I previously tried to get a bigger color palette for Atari Graphics Mode 2, Antic Mode 7. After some hours, I had a working engine for a 20 by 10 playfield. I had to build a tool to pack the puzzle data in order to be included in the source listing and displayed on the screen. The compre So that the, um, the mazes or the, the gameplay is... Um, now you've got to push that one to the left... And then go back. No, wrong way. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, you're still good. Oh, I thought it was the wrong way. No. Ooh. I have to get. Oh, no, what I can't get him. Way? No. I did the exact opposite of what I was of what yeah. I was thinking I needed to do. Ah, okay. Is the animation done by continuously changing the definition of a character or by continuously swapping between two characters? Well, I know on the 2600, uh, animation is done by changing the pointer, the index of a pointer to point to a different animation graphics in perfect in memory. So you change the index up by one and it just um, goes to the next one in the index. I don't know how it works on this. Maybe there's a better way. Um, the compression method I used was simple RLE algorithm, run length encoding, where each byte of data represented an element of the screen. Three bits to map up to seven different elements, and a repetition count, five bits for 32 values. And this game really lends itself well to that. As you can see, there's a whole bunch of rocks along the top. So you just say, that's a rock, repeat X times. And it works really well horizontally. And I think for uh, Load Runner, he used uh, a compression method in a spiral because things mm. tended to be in a spiral. They, they were horizontally and vertically because there was ladders up and down and there were things across and that compression. So you have to pick the right compression for the right type of material that you're compressing. Like a graphics compression is going to be different than a text compression. Um, where zero times meant end of data. The first two puzzles were designed to test all the game logic in the engine, and I had to add a lot of delays in different portions of the code in order to make the animations be fluent. Uh, I decided to change the screen resolution to 16 by 10 because the puzzles won't be that big, also to save data bytes in order to include as many puzzles. I could in the, in the time, 10, times, 10 lines of code. I just can't believe this is in 10 lines. Um, the next step was to replace the characters I was using with user-friendly bitmaps, and I had to dis uh, design them. I used a spreadsheet with formulas to generate the required source code to be copied and pasted into a basic program. I tried as many 8x8 sprites in the search for the theme of the game, like to kill monsters, to collect objects, or to save people. <laughs> the story goes on for many, many pages. <laughs> so if you want to read more about this... Um, just keep, uh, go to Vitoko's 10 line page. You can read more. Yeah, this one's interesting because you kind of backtrack, then you let him drop. Then, uh, so, okay, you can, yeah. So, how do I make you sure I can get, actually, it doesn't actually down. matter. It doesn't actually matter. No? No. No, it doesn't. But you will have to go left. Oh, no, no. I can go yeah, this way. You have to go that way. It's multiple. Chase bone. Me uses the same compression I developed for this game, but use the mirror of the mazes to use half the data. Oh, okay. So all the mazes in Chase Me uh, were mirrored 
horizontally and vertically. So it's flipped and flipped, I think. I mean, if I saw them on the screen, I'd be able to figure it out quite easily. Diagonally. Oh, okay. Well, yeah. Kind of similar, but not really. <laughs> Push into the pit. Into the pit. There you go. Solve that part of it. So now I've pushed those two rocks into those two pits. Uh, one, the top one you can push into the first pit. Um, then you just need to push the second one. Or do I go underneath it? No. And kick it? No. No, because then I can't. Okay, yeah, so one has to go this way. Yeah. And then one I can kick. Yeah, this doesn't even... Oh, no. no. That's not what I wanted to do. It falls behind you. You have to go up, get the guy. Oh, no, then there's... No. Try that again. So how did I do this before? There's one <laughs> into the pit. Pit. Into the pit, into the pit, into the pit. Pretty, pretty easy, straightforward. Okay. This one. Hmm. Oh, what you so... could... No. You don't want to dig that, because then you can't push it because there's dirt there. Oh, no, you could go around. No, you can go... Ooh, no. You always have to stay on the left-hand side of the rocks. Because you can't go up and around them. How do I get a rock? Two rocks onto that side. That's the question. Well, you have to you have to push that top rock over. Yeah, I, th I I think you are correct. So then the question becomes You can't push it there. So the only thing you can do oh 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 you can go around. Around. Yeah, go so around. Then over, right? Off yep, the edge. Yep, off the edge. Go drop him. And then left left. Then push. Yeah, there you go. There we go. Yay, the children. The children. Zone 10. Now it gets tricky. Now these guys are in the midair. Yep. So... They, you have to get them in the midair. They do not drop. Otherwise they would already. You're in a reboot says watching Ryan George is tight. Exactly. That's my first I think. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. Yeah, his his stuff is really, 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 really good. And his um his his skits are good too. Not just his movie movie review things. And his ads are the best ads on all of YouTube. The ad astronaut. I do like the ad Like I never skip it. Ever, ever, ever. I've watched every single ad he's ever done because they're so funny. The ad astronaut is. That's how you do ads. If you want to know how to do ads, that's how you do ads. Renu Go says the ads are great. Captain Classic, I don't skip his ads. No. Yep. Yeah, he is the master of ads. Whatever he is getting, he's whatever he's getting paid for ads. He uh, definitely deserves it. Some people just just read them off, and that's it. And it's like, oh, skip, 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 skip. And what's the Canadian uh, guy? Frank James. Anybody watch Frank James? I like, no, uh, um, uh, Ryan George is right? Canadian. He's from Montreal. He's, oh, okay. Well, is Frank James American? Uh, both... American. Oh, I mixed them up. Anybody else watch Frank James? He's the guy who started off doing 16 personalities. He's branched out a lot more now because he's, I'm sure he's used up all his, uh, all his material for the 16 personalities. Nice. Yay. 
And it's amazing that the sound is also in the ten lines mm. as well. Squeak, squeak, squeak. You're saying, help me, help me, help me. Yeah, the next game I'm doing is um, the character stays in one spot on the screen. Mm. Everything else moves around the character. Um, both horizontally and vertically so it's kind of like it's not a spaceship game but it's it's kind of like a spaceship hmm. game and in, in the fact like um, um yeah like asteroids or what's the um what's the awesome one i love oh i've rearranged all my games now they're not in the same place damn it yeah, that. asteroids. We're in the center. Um, and the game's also kind of 3D as well. Yeah, time piloty. Yeah, Bosconian Draconian. That's what I'm thinking. But this is not in space at all. Nothing to do with space. <laughs> it, and it's not flat either. It's not like an, an RPG where the world moves on a flat plane and you're moving around. It's kind of... It's kind of 3D. Like you're you're moving vertically, but you're also moving around at the same time. Scrolling horizontally is blocky. Not the way I'm doing it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it took me a while to wrap my head around to how to make it not blocky. But I will not be using the play field to move the things horizontally. I believe they're all balls. I think I'm, yeah, they're all balls that are moving horizontally. And the whole screen is, I believe it's play field on the sides and background in the middle. And the play field is to block off um, the color changes that are going to occur in the middle of the screen. And um, so you're in the middle of the background and the balls are there and the enemies are the player one and your player zero. Um, and if every... Th oh no, can I do that? No, it can't be balls. No because there's play field on the sides. It's gotta be a missile. Yeah, it's missile. Does that work? No, I'm crazy. No, no, no. Um, I'll have to go back to seeing it. Maybe it is, maybe it is, uh, they they are miss, uh, missile one. Yeah, so they don't interfere with the color of the player. Yeah. Oh, still playing this one. Well, I'm just trying to figure out how to get two down to the left-hand side. Because I can knock those, but either side I knock them, it blocks oh. something. Like, so am I doing it wrong with the big <clears throat> boulder? Maybe. Let's see. <clears throat> like, I can start over. Because, like, I moved that upper one, which still seems right to me, but I can't get back up. No, once you've so, fallen through that pit, yeah. it's over. And you have to get... One, I can't, I can't two, put it there. three. I can push this over. I still think that's the right thing to do. Definitely. There's no reason not to push that one there. But then I have to put something next to it. And like that's what I'm struggling with. Because if I drop anything down the middle... You're blocked. You're blocked. You're blocked. I, I mean... Hmm. But then I can't get back around. No. Ooh, that's tough. Like I can get this guy easily. Oh, you know what? I can get him. No, 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 no. You push that left top one. And then how do I get, how do I move it? Um. Oh, yes, you're right, you're right, you're right. right. Yeah, you are. I'm pretty sure. Uh, oh, no, how do you move it? <laughs> how do you move down from there? Because you can only push it to the right. That's how you do. 
Oh. Yeah. Oh. So you fall okay. down. You then knock you get, him. Yep. You knock you, that over. And you push that other boulder. Yeah. So. Right. Perfect. There we go. It's like, how do I do this? That took some thinking. Some thinking. That took some thinking. Some figuring. Some figuring. Um, da, 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 da. No, I'll have to go look at my schematics again. I'm confused what I'm doing. That one was tricky. That one is a little bit... Uh, this one looks much more tricky. <laughs> There's a lot of rocks. And a lot of pits. I think you got to push that bottom one over. And push that one over. Yeah. I don't know why, but I just feel like that's necessary. Absolutely. And, and then, then you got to push that one over. And then one of those up top, you got to push it to that. Mm. I think. Oh, no, that, yes, that does work. Right. And, and then and I don't think I want to, I don't think I actually want to do that. I think I want to knock. Oh, look at all those guys. <laughs> How on earth do I get up there? Uh, you gotta knock them down. Get all those boulders down, 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 down. Because you can go make them go down two at least by getting that guy in the dirt from out from underneath. And then there's the guy at the bottom. Hmm. 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 I think you've got to build up a bit of a rock um I'm going to do this wrong. Ladder. I know I'm going to do this wrong, so I don't think I want to I almost think you have to go up and around again. And then you go down and, you and gotta get, get that, that guy. Oh, you got to get that rock, that middle rock over to that pit because you're going to have to go around. I think so no no you're stuck no. Why? oh you're not never mind <laughs> so push it over push it over there you go now you can go up and around any as many times as you want so i probably want to do the bottom and get that guy and drop them down oh yeah and use that rock to get that guy maybe Make it a little shelf. Get him. Yeah. Get that ladder and across. Is that going to screw me? It might screw me. And then he goes down one, two. Hmm. Oh, that's even better. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. You should have pushed that rock over. Should I have? Oh, now it can go. Oh, no. Yeah, now you can't move that rock over anymore. Because you had an opportunity to push that rock over to the right and bring that guy down one more, mm. which you needed to do. Because you drop that boulder, okay, and then he's on the same again. level so, as you. Okay, that makes sense. Then this get, and this gets. Then up here. Um, Vitoko, how many levels does this game have? Obviously, I can look it up, but let's see. Twenty. 20 zones. Neither George, Walt, nor their people have supervised this development, it says. Mm -hmm. Who are those people? Okay, so. Over, over. Or do I want to clear push. this one? No, I, 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 I know. So. This one. Over, over. Push. <gasps> oh. Ooh. Mm. And, no, no, it'll work. And then down. Okay. 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 So now... You get that rock and you can get those two. So get that guy down there. Push the rock. Get I have those to, I have Don't to... get that guy. Get no, that guy. No, I have to. I have to do it this way because I have to get back up and around. It's the only way I can get no, over here. Don't. Yes. Nice. I can't get up there to knock that rock over. You can do it right now. I have to climb over him. You're like, get him. If I had gotten him, I wouldn't be able to get past those boulders. Mm. 
the guy at the bottom, yeah, yeah. I have to walk over his head. Oh, to get up and around. Yeah. Okay, I was thinking the next pass, but there is no other pass. See? And then... Doop. Floating dirt. Yay! Uh, the parser compiles to tokens. No matter how long the words are, the speed... Then the speed is over tokens. Oh, boy. So you got to drop um, I mean, down and the push. The nice thing about this up. is I think you have to move. Oh, boy. Two boulders beside each other is impassable. Not impossible. Impassable. Um, don't kick it. Push it. Then move with it. And then push the other one to the left. No. Thank you. Because hmm. if you put it right underneath one of those guys, you'd get the first one. But then... I don't know how you get out. I don't but think I can go back. Like, falling down is easy enough, but I have to get back. my turn anyway. You want to play? It's my turn. Can I finish this and then I'm going to fail 12 it. 12 zones. Okay. Uh, no, I don't know. I don't know. Fluffy cat is between us. Such a cute fluffy cat. Just out of frame. You're just out of frame. So right now I'm um, digitizing all my VHS tapes. And I used to record my radio shows on VHS. Yeah, I know, radio shows. <laughs> and I would plug in a camera and film them, uh, which was now pretty cool. Because now I have a video recording of my radio shows. Because videotapes were six hours long and you couldn't really record video back then too well onto a computer. So now I'm digitizing them all and I'm down to my last four. And I had to do, I don't know how many tapes, 50 videotapes of six hours each. Did you restart? No. Oh. There you go. I can fall down. You get one of them. Oh, there you go. I can get this another is, one now. Uh, more challenging now. <laughs> so now you can get the next one. Oh yeah. And then push it again. And then fall down again. Oh yeah, I guess again. But I, I don't know I if can. it'll work for this one after. I'm not sure. <gasps> okay, wait. Push that one. Kick that one to the, the right. There. No. Oh, no! Oh, no. <gasps> oh, I thought it could drop into it. Oh, almost. Oh, that was so close. Okay. Your turn. Captain Classic. There was some <laughs> uh, super rich lady that recorded three to five stations, 24 hours a day for the last 30 years. Some libraries archiving all the footage. Wow. It's great to go back and see all the old commercials. Yeah, I read about oh, that story. Tough. It was really? very cool. She just recorded off TV? Using just what? constantly. Her VHS? or yeah. like? Yeah. She would record, she would add a bunch of TVs, a bunch of v VCRs. Really? And just her house was filled with VHS tapes. I bet it was. I think I, I, think I saw that. Ah. <laughs> yeah, let's see how far you go. Ah. How, well, how come I can't move into no, that? No, you can't because it's, it's a boulder. I want to move under it. To, you can't move under it. You... What did you do? Okay, so, yeah, and then you can go... Oh, and then, and then you, you did this. You, yeah. Right? Yeah. And then you... Kicked it over. But the thing to do... Now that rock's there forever. That bottom rock. 
Yeah, so there's something about the bottom rock that, that you're doing wrong, because you're doing ex ex exactly what I did. Right. <sighs> Maybe... Yeah, maybe push. No, because then you can't. You're stuck now. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I think I did pretty well, but I'm just missing something. It's the same thing. You No, then you're... So that has it. So, oh, too, ah. too far. <laughs> oh, you, you... Yeah, you couldn't move it back. Um, so if you... There, stop for a second. <laughs> so, yeah, you can get one. Then kick it to the left. Like, that works. Yes, and you fill those in. But then... If you go right, you're stuck. So you have to go left. Yeah. And you don't want to kick that one to the right. Or could you? No, you can't. Yes, you can. Because there's two rocks. No. No, I don't think you can. You can. Oh, on the other side. <gasps> Why did you push it that far? <gasps> oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you're right. That's how you do it. Yeah. Any mouth. Push the rock to the other side of the stack, kids. <laughs> right? Mm -hmm. and that solves it because you just had one more to go. So then you fall off there. Then go to the left. Yeah. And then. Oh no. Oh no. <laughs> Uh, no. Oh, no, I can still do something. Can I, can, you... I can still push this rock. To the right. I don't know if that helps anything. <laughs> no, it does not. Okay, maybe... What if you started on that side? Does that help you at all? <laughs> so that... You can get the first one. You have to do it this way. Yeah. Um, I could push that all the way over to the right. You could do what I did before, but yeah. then the last time... Push to the right. Yeah. And then kick to the left, and then kick that off, and then do that Up again. around, yeah. Yeah, because the last ones have two, which yeah. block you. So then... Can you do so you can get that one but then two fall and also and you can't i can't get out can you kick it no you cannot <laughs> what i can kick that to the right still right now kick it to the right because if i kick it to the left i can't get back up and around yeah and i have to do that uh, i, think I don't I'm think this a, is i think you're still in a bind i think i am too or no, if you oh, um, I can't yeah. go right. Can it's, you kick that thing to the right? Can yes. you kick? How go to the kick? right. You just push. Push to the right. Okay. And then. And then do it again. Kick it. Yay! Figured it out. Get there eventually. Oh, hi, kitties. Okay. Hi, kitties. No cuddles? There's a spot here. Oh, Sprite, you want to cuddle? You just want to meow at me? Oh, you do want to cuddle. Good kitty. Good kitty. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, 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 meow. Meow, meow, meow. <clears throat> I do fear my second game will not get the attention my first one did because it has nothing to do with any IP. It's all original. 
And uh, I know from experience, original games don't get quite as much attention as uh, ones that are ports, especially arcade, well-loved arcade ports. But you never know. We'll see. We'll see. But with every game, I would like to like push my knowledge of how to make games. So maybe I can do like one original, one port, one original, one port, go back and forth. This will be the last level. Oh, sorry. So much thinking. Thinking, oh, we can push that one to the left. Ooh, maybe not. <laughs> it's kind of a death pit at this point. Oh, all the way to the left. There you go. Okay. And push them all. Yeah. Then you have a I'm probably screwing it up, path. but that's okay. But I think that's the right thing to do with those three, though. Because yeah. then you can go around again and still access the ladder. I think I screwed it up, because how do I get that middle guy? Uh, that middle guy? So, yeah. Oh, you push, push, push. No, the rock's on. Oh. Oh, no. No. One. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. Build up, yeah. Build up a, Possibly. a rock, um, rock pile. Uh, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Gotta push that rock. Don't have to push it too far, but... Okay, yep. But then how do I get that guy? Which one? The very top. Oof. Uh, I did it wrong. Yeah, you needed two rocks up top. Um, okay, so I think this still needs to go here. Yes. And then the next... Rage Reset! <laughs> Thank you, Thank TM you. Events! Thank you for resubscribing, TM Events! 11 months! Woo! Yeah, that is good. Marion Stokes was a woman's name. Yeah, USA Television. Yeah, it's it's amazing what is lost. What uh, media is lost, and I bet she is the only. She has the only copy of so much stuff. Um, like commercials. Um, probably not TV shows, but possibly live TV shows. Not um, pre-recorded TV shows, but live ones. Because a lot of TV stations just either don't record it or go, yeah, who's going to ever want this? And then just completely, um, yep, and then the top one when you get back around. Mm, I feel like I'm doing everything wrong. No, no, you can still push that rock to the left as well after you go up or, uh, around the ladder. So I would go up and get that guy, then get the bottom guy. No. 1980 to 2010. 30 years of 24 hours a day television. I think this rock should be down there. Like, you can push those stack of three down to the bottom. No, I think this... <gasps> no, you can't get the top guy if you push that rock. What? That top left guy. You no. have to put that rock there. No, I'm moving that rock there, and I'm moving that oh. one over, I think. I think that's uh, I think what I want to do. Anyway. I don't know. Oh, yeah, you can get that middle guy. Yeah, okay. Get that middle guy now. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know if I'm doing this right. Anyway. A lot of the shows like Highlander, the tapes were recycled, so the masters are gone. Oh, shoot. That sucks. Um, I can get him. Oh, no. Stuck. Oh, you are. Yeah, I mean, VHS copies do not pale in comparison to the originals. Like, if you look at um, some really, really high-profile shows that were shot on film, like, um, like Friends and Seinfeld and Star Trek The Next Generation, and they've been reissued in HD... Because they can, because they were shot on film, and they've opened up the mats, or they've they've shrunk the top and bottom maybe, and opened the mats as well on the sides. 
Oh, he's trapped. Everybody's trapped. Yeah. That's what, yeah. Brady Bunch was shot on mm -hmm. film. Oh, wow. Oh, the D&D &D cartoons? Should I keep going yeah, or is this going. the last game? Oh, okay. This is the last level. Yeah. Okay. I think you can figure it out. Mm -hmm. You've got the right tactics, I think. I'm not doing things in the right order. She might have a lot of contents from those years, but how the hell would you find something? A huge index should be done. Yeah, if she didn't keep an index, um, people would have to watch 30 years of tape. <laughs> that would be a lot. Especially with commercials. Oh my god. S somebody would... You could fast forward once you've digitized it, but... Like, chopping all those up into individual... What you could probably do is um, outsource it to the world and just post it and get, get people to do it because I'm sure there's more than enough people that are interested in all the old commercials and, and stuff and just post them tape by tape. Of course, um, the people who own the shows might be a bit opposed to that. It's like, oh, all our stuff's on the internet for free. It's like, well, you didn't put it there, so... And you don't have it offered anywhere. <laughs> so... And they could probably cut out the... Commercials, make them separate, just a one big long thing of commercials. Oh, I've why did that. I do that? I wish I could just go back and... Yeah, I've read that with the original show tapes getting recycled, all that's left... Are the syndicated tapes that remove the smaller relevant bits to make more for commercials that's true as well syndication sometimes takes out like five ten minutes because yes like, yeah we need more commercials in there and then you miss like stuff that's just like literally gone forever um one of the most tragic ones that everybody knows about is doctor who oh yeah where they're just like yeah just forget these just tape over them Throw them away. We need more room. And the BBC archives. All this stupid Doctor Who's taken up room. There you go. Now you can build it up to that second guy without any fear. And I mean, the re those two in the middle are easy. All you have to do is get that guy without getting stuck. The guy on the left. I know. And you, all you have to do is push that one, two, and then get him. Those two top boulders on the left. And then fall to the right and get those other two So guys. sorry, go down. Go down the ladder, push those two boulders over. Yep. And then drop down to the left. Get him. Up and around, get those last two guys. Oh, never mind. Yes, yes, there you go. Oh, oh no. no! Oh no! Oh no! Kind I of the right to, idea. I they to, get to prep something first. I had to first. prep that boulder first. Yeah. yeah. So close. So close. This one's definitely. Weird they did that. It's not like people lack any kind of foresight. I know. It, it, wasn't it like us always been a revered popular show? Doctor Who? Yeah, but wasn't it just that. They were old shows and they just recorded. They needed the tape. Yeah. The tape was so valuable that they needed to, to reuse destroy it. destroy a cult popular I show? I don't know if it was... I think it was like a children's show. I don't think people gave it the respect. They must not <laughs> you have, know? Because they're like, this is the only copy. Oh, well. And uh, they've been able to find ones here and there from syndicated... Um, from syndicate channels around the world. But nowhere near the full thing. Some they have like audio recordings of that people just recorded audio at home. Crazy people like me <laughs> that used to record TV show intros. <laughs> um, at the time, it wasn't so revered. Chell Stony Mouse says, yeah. Hi, baby cat. Get that purr engine going. Purr, 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 purr. Okay, so for this one. Yeah, I gotta think about this. <sighs> I 
And if you get that top middle, you can't walk across him. I don't think you really need to. I think to. that guy's last. So Maybe if I watch. knock two down, there's still one on his head. I can mock, n knock one over, but then I'm messed up. Can I... Yeah, if you walk, can I get... if you knock two down, yeah. Oh, oh, okay. Knock two down, all right. And then... Ooh, Put this careful. on his head. On his head, oh, okay. Yeah, okay. And then around. So I should probably get this guy at the top. Oh, no, uh, I can't. No, 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 not yet. No, okay. So then... You can't get across. I feel like I'm going to screw this up. I hate that feeling. Uh... There we go! Oh, oh. oh no, you're trapped again! Yeah, How you should have got that to... guy at the top somehow, just before. But you needed to get to the yeah. top. Oh boy. How? What the hell? <laughs> that was so close. Okay, let's try this one. Getting there. Night double down! Thanks Good for night. watching. <laughs> I know we're playing a long, long game. It is a long game. I feel like we're so close. Yep, yeah, yeah. We'll finish the zone 14. We're like I love one... this game. It's great. <laughs> oh, you love puzzle games. Not the most exciting to watch on a Twitch live stream, though. No. Tom Baker! Tom Baker all the way. But he was the one that I watched when I was uh, a kid, so... It's it's always about who you watch or the first one you watched. Usually, that's the one you have nostalgia for. Can I kick that one down? Because then I can move that one, push that one. So like. Me up last time. He did. Yeah. So. I'll just stick with the plan. Okay, so now. So, you gotta kick. Kick. Okay, no. So, kicking one. Yep. And then you put that one as his head. So that's where we were. Yes. Now just wait a second. All right. And then you would kick the two down and get. If there. you could get that guy on your way over, which I don't think you, you can't. You can't. Please stop. Um, wait a second. Wait a second. Nope, stop. I'm not doing okay, anything. wait. Um, so if you get that guy, hmm. the Yoda, then go down, around, then get the top guy, then go fall again, kick those boulders, and get that last guy. So, go up. Go up. Don't touch Bernie, please. Then get that guy, move, yep. Then move over. Then go get the top guy. Fall. Fall again. Yep. Fall again. And then you just get that last guy. Kittens. Yay! Yay! Sorry, that took a long time. His absurdly long scarf was a bit of a mistake. The costume designer gave a bunch of colorful wool. Oh, I can't see. Sorry. To commission someone to knit the scarf, and they used all of it. That's exactly what I would do if someone gave me, here, use this wool. I would... Okay. Mm. All of it. Yep. Here, what? ten foot long. Yay, I think it was cool. The super long scarf. It gave character. 
Like it was, that yeah. signifies him. That's yeah. like his identification. Yep. 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 Um, so Hurrah. good job, Zone 15. Um, I have to say, Doctor Who wasn't one of my favorite shows. I found it cheesy. Yeah. There's some There's episodes some very that good like, episodes. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, I'm not, I'm not. Life saving scarf. Uh, yeah. It was always a very cheesy, cheesy show. There's some very good episodes of it, though. Yes. Mm. Um, so, what's coming up on the show? Uh, next episode, you do not want to miss. It's Two Tongue Calm, the exclusive mm. world premiere for the 2600 at the port of the 1982 game, mm. arcade game from Champ mm -hmm. Games. And we also have an interview with John Shampo about the game, introducing it, telling us about it. Now, that's it's with Darcy, and it's in the middle of the day. Yep. Yep. It's early show, Friday. Nice. It's a two, a twin joystick game. Ooh. One for moving, one for shooting. He does like twin joystick games. He does. I always think of yeah. Robotron. That's an awesome oh twin joystick game. Oh, my God. Yeah, so. so good. Hi. Um, then we have, we're going to be playing 7,800 games possibly next Tuesday. It might mm -hmm. be some more 8-bit games because there was a... 8-bit um, uh, competition. 8-bit competition. Mm -hmm. And there's like six or seven games. So we might do those to get those done. Because um, this one's still being worked on, and I don't have one to really accompany it from the 7800. There's come some in the works, but um, I'd like another game to go along with it. But after that, uh, another 2600 day, that's the Friday after that, uh, we're going to be playing uh, Stellar Drive Mars, Bert and the Butterflies, and updated Paddlefield um, pack line update. It will be mine and also Vitoko's. So I will be posting mine right after we sign off. Nice. So everybody can download it there. Nice. And um, uh, I don't know when Vitoko's is up. Uh, I don't know if he's still in he the chat. He said he was going to do it after, I think. But yep. I, Vitoko's uh, still in the chat. So yeah. he said he was going to do it after the show. Yes. Yeah, you'll be able to download mine and Vitoko's awesome. after the Yay! show. Yay, you can pack line it up. That's right. So you, uh, if you can beat my high score, I'm going to keep uh, the top score. Oh, yeah? And the thread. Nice. Yep. Nice. If anybody can beat the score. Has uh, has uh, Steve maybe Ramirez I'll, entered the chat Maybe yet? I'll keep a top 10 or something. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. Not just top. Okay. Uh, Steve destroyed the first version. Oh, did he? <laughs> but of course, things change with each version, so you kind of have to... Go. Replay oh, these again. are the high scores that's for true. this version. Yeah, yeah. it'll oh, take a bit more. Okay, still, still building. Been the ATR. Okay. okay, that's all cool. But we are looking forward to it. Yep. So, yeah. So mine will be up. You can play mine. Then you can play Vitoko's. Yes. Um, depends how long that takes me to update. It should take no time at all. Um, and uh, yeah, at some point we're going to be talking with Steve Engelhardt. I keep saying that. I need to arrange that. Mm -hmm. That is, uh, yeah, any time really. Excellent. Um, so I'll fit that somewhere in here. See what days are good for him. Uh, lots of good stuff coming up, according to the Ten Liners rules. Oh, so you're building one specifically under their rules. Nice. So he has to do it in a certain a way. Specific, a specific yeah. way. Yeah. Um, good stuff. Because I'm sure there's some invalid dating ways that you can like post something and not po or not post something. Mm. I don't know what the rules are for the Ten Liner contest. I haven't really scrutinized how to disqualify yourself, but Vitoka <laughs> would know. Yes. Um, so thanks for hanging out with us so long tonight. Mm -hmm. Actually, it wasn't that long. It just felt long. <laughs> so it's, uh, yeah, two hours and 22 minutes in. Not too bad. Yeah. Lots of really excellent yes. fun games. Thank lots you, Vitoko, for letting us play all, all your games. All will be downloadable or yes. are downloadable. Yeah. I love the children. I might have to play that offline a little yeah, bit. So yeah, so let me just give you a link to um, Vitoko's website. So you can download some of his uh, previous games as well as 10-liners. There we go. There's this link to his 10-liners. You can download the ones we played, and soon nice. you'll be able to uh, download the pack 10-liner mm. as well. Uh, so thanks for hanging out with us, Vitoko, Yay. Rendered Ghost Nostalgic, Chow Stani Mao, uh, Polly Gox, Dan, AVC, Captain Classic, VVG Double Down, It's Kev, uh, TM Events, thank you for the resubscription, Cyrano, Reboot, um, uh, same VVG, Rendered Ghost, mm. Carl G, nice, Ivory Tower. Oh, yeah. Good catch. 
Kitten. Miss Command. Miss Command. Which is a great name. I, I always Ramirez. forget that it's based on Missile Command. I love it. And then, it's, then it's, I'm like, oh, it's a great name. It's one of the best. Yep. One of the best. S. Yep. Ramirez. Uh, Strawberry System 22. Nice. And that's off the Yay. page. And Pseudographics. Yay. Just Thank you, in, Pseudographics. Just in time. Let's see if we can uh, shuffle you off to anyone that might be uh, a good appropriate appropriate Tari, channel. Tari Beer Pong playing tonight. He plays most most nights of the week. Let's see. He's always oh, got are. a good. Yeah, yep. we're gonna send you over to Tari Beer Pong, yep. friend of the show. He's always back. playing something fun. Yeah, he's on a lot. on a real Atari ST system. That is that's correct. What it looks like over yeah. there. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. I think I got it right this time. Yes, we are. Okay, so thanks for hanging out. Remember to come back on Friday. Yes. Big, exclusive, world premiere show. John Champo, Champ Games, new game. You definitely want to be there. Um, so we'll see you on Friday, early show. Mm -hmm. Okay, bye-bye. Say bye-bye, cats. Bye-bye.